Yo, what's up everyone and welcome to Drinks with the Martins. I'm Gary at Tuner's Edge and I'm Tammy at Scooby Snacks. And this is our weekly podcast about tech, gaming, science. Uh, you can follow us on twitch.tv and subscribe to us on YouTube. Now let's grab a drink, if you don't already have one, and join us on today's episode. So today we're going to talk about some things related to SpaceX, CES, some Forbes stuff, um, Google's news lawsuit, Crucible, Sega, Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. Oh God, I just said Pokemon. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and Joe Bob says that he can't hear y'all. Sweet. I can only hear you too. And as usual, we're experiencing technical difficulties. Hey, can you hear? Oh, hold on. Maybe if you unmuted people. Because oh I fixed my. the audio. Gosh, Gary, come on. How about now? Johnny? What yeah, what's up? Huh? Hmm? Huh? All right. Uh, Johnny again. Hey, you what's good? up? What's going on? Ian. Hello, this is Ian. I talk about right. things. <laughs> Y'all are this weird as you guys are both coming through. Wait, there's a problem. I can hear huzzah. Oh, shut up, Scoon. He's muted. he's just being a jerk. Well, Go on. I muted them Get out of here. Both coming through the same audio. Oh, they water. are? Yeah. Oh, okay. They were, they were both coming through each other's audio. Do you guys hear desktop audio music? Probably not. Uh, I hope you weren't asking me that question. Yeah, because I'm not watching the stream. I, I, I can barely keep the freaking call up with my internet sometimes, god dang. I feel you. Actually, wait a minute. I'm going to try. Please, computer, don't break. See. I love you. Yo, this is how we do things here, Jenny. 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 Um, <laughs> oh, Johnny right. bit me. You guys can hear all three of us now. Can you see the I puppy believe. back there? There's only three of us, so do I not count? Well, I mean, I'm sorry. All three cameras. All four of us. Three cameras. Oh my god. I mean, I could go. We're on the same microphone. I could leave. There's a door. There's three channels. <laughs> you know? I mean. Your hair looks good. Your hair looks good. Freaking... My hair looks like crap, but it's dude. I need to take some like freaking like conditioner or like some grease and like you just run it through my hair. Cause right now my it? hair is I mean, looking, like my hair looks kind of like a tint of gray instead of like the lustrous black that I usually try to keep it. You know what I'm saying? Is it's your, like is that your head or is that your hair? Uh, it's, it's probably hair. a mixture of both. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I'm light the... skinned man. You it's see how it looks flat on the one spot. <laughs> It's hard. You know, what you should get you is that Morocco that oil. Okay, like so the, the thing is, I, I had a... Before my hair got this long, I had a taper. So the hair on the top of my head is actually longer than the hair on the sides. And yeah, that's what fine, I... fine, but it looks like it's flat. It looks like your... Side. Maybe your left side, yeah, is uh, you pick, you pick not quite as long. Lights, you don't pick oh, no, my left side is longer than my right side. That is okay, also... Can we not talk about hair pictures? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> just doing their hair. I look, I, it's been quarantine, man. All right, I know I look a mess, y'all. Like, <laughs> it was like that last hair. time. It was like that last week. It's nothing new. <laughs> he was like, it's he nothing was to do with the pic. I don't know if my, I don't know if Skype uh, is thinking that this globe is a head because it was going back oh. and forth between blurring my face <laughs> oh, and so showing the globe hair. or the other way around. <laughs> How's this? Oh look? my gosh! Wait. <laughs> That's his natural hair. That's how he wakes up in the morning. Oh man, this morning it was crazy. My hair's not doing that. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's natural. <laughs> I'm a peacock cap. You gotta let me fly. Oh, hold up. <laughs> now he's All right. just All right, I'll, I'll do a stream without a hat. Let's go. Um, Might as well. It makes my forehead look huge. So tomorrow Joe is getting his first haircut in four months. So I bet yes. you have like shaggy hair. Woo! Shaggy hair, shaggy hair. Like screws. I don't know about this man. What? Let's lift it up off the uh, table. I wish I could do a good no, fine. Uh, shaggy like impression. Scoob. Right. Like Zoink Scoob. Alright, alright, alright. Alrighty, alright. I do need another drink. I finished all my coffee. Um, I'm not going to get you another one. 
No, I didn't get any beer. I need to restock up on some beer. Anyway, can we get to the topics? Yes. Let's do it. SpaceX. We have to talk about SpaceX and the satellites they have been launching. It's true. They have been launching, launching, oh my god, lossing. They've been launching some satellites for low cost high bandwidth internet. Um, you go back I don't to know school. if you guys heard anything about all this stuff, but they've had multiple launches so far that I'm aware of where they've been launching arrays of satellites to help with um, providing internet and cell phones for people in like remote areas. And yeah, stuff. it's low cost, high bandwidth internet access. Mm. That's crazy. And you have global access, which is really cool. That is pretty um, awesome. I well, think cool it is, also like, helps uh, give like connection to places where maybe they don't have the backbone for fiber or things like that, right. or even cable. Yeah. So yeah, it's That's supposed to basically. So it's essentially putting satellite phones in everyone's head. Yeah. Right. That could be really good for like the education system too, because if they get if we somehow get funding to get you know, computers and things like that, access to, like, you know, internet resources, like databases and things like that, that could actually be really good for education systems in remote areas. I don't know what their situation is with, like, you know, their access to computers and things like that, but I definitely think it'll facilitate, like, you know, things like that and people getting educated. So. One thing I noticed, and uh, I don't know if you've followed Elon Musk and the whole Tesla thing and his tweets, but um, they launched 60 more satellites, which brought the total number of mm -hmm. uh, orbiting satellites to 420. Yeah. And that number already, nice. That number already carries some significance because of Elon Musk. And he said he was going to take a uh, Tesla private at 420. If anybody remembers those tweets. So I think he, <laughs> yeah. he really likes that number. I think it's hilarious. Just the fact that he wants to launch total 40,000 of those small satellites. That's, I mean, that's, that's insane. Does anybody know how many satellites are already in orbit? I don't know. Can I just can't imagine there. the maintenance on every single one of those. So basically, a lot of maintenance. I think the satellites are essentially small cubes. They're not very large. Yeah. Uh, and essentially what they form is a, they form like a mesh network. And as they um, as they kind of not decomp what am, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, basically, as they break down, they fall back into or Earth's orbit and burn up and just disintegrate. Yep. And so you would eventually like continually just kind of cycle. So as they burn out, you launch new ones. See, I wonder that's my were, understanding. I thought they were decently sized. I didn't think they were that's very small. For the big ring of space debris we already have, I hope they all burn. Uh, so in we case froze. you're wondering. There are 2,218 satellites currently orbiting Earth. Artificial satellites. Uh, <laughs> oh, that doesn't include the moon. Looking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> artificial. Artificial. That's crazy. And that's actually a lot oh, of junk. And that's true. Joe Joe has got a valid point. That we know of. That we know of. That we know that not, That we that know are, of. Oh yeah. Black file satellites. Which is a whole well, even the ones discussion. that we know of, their functions sometimes, like maybe they perform one small function and that's what they told us they do, but they, they perform a whole array of other functions that we don't know does, of. Does anybody sometimes. believe the conspiracy theory that they're working on a freaking laser weapon to get fired from a satellite? Uh, I believe it mainly because that's already something that they use in missile defense systems that's true. uh so uh, uh orbital laser for missile de defense in fact i know that there was a missile defense system that was developed using not necessarily orbital lasers but along that line of technology that is uh yeah. that is very controversial in in the international so i uh, can say theater i have personally put hands on a laser plane so i <laughs> I, uh, was, when I was in the military, I worked Great, now we're going to have the CIA and everybody else. <laughs> <partially, laughs> it's, it's publicly no, known. No. So since There's... you're going to jail, I'm going to have my own podcast. <laughs> Bro, I'm just going to mysteriously <laughs> disappear. My parents won't be able to find me. They're going to be like, um, man. So, no, this is operational. Because 
It's basically a giant 747 with a laser on the nose of it. And so its job is to shoot down missiles that it that are like a threat to the US. Um, and it's huge. It's wild looking haven't, dude. Haven't they been working on like I've heard they've also been working on like aggressive like type laser weapons. Like they haven't gotten super far yet, but there's like lasers that they're working on to do like actual damage. But it's you're talking about like attack lasers and not yeah, like defense. yeah, like, like a, Star these, Wars these, lasers. These lasers do damage. Like they burn. Yeah. It's not a. So the way the the current laser technology works, the defense lasers, they heat up the missile to the point where the core uh, reacts and explodes, and correct. that's essentially how the the lasers work. Um, so I mean, they can be used offensively, but the military's done all sorts of crazy uh, things where it's like they were using sound weapons. Uh, and things like that too. So they've okay, you know, sound they weapons with all sorts of things. Yeah, I I really like uh, I can't, dude. My brain has been so fried lately. Basically, it it uses electromagnets to fire a projectile at supersonic speeds. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Is it a rail gun? A rail gun? A rail gun. Thank a you. Rail gun. Yeah. yeah. An electromagnetic yeah. electromagnetic forces is one of the strongest like fundamental forces in existence electromagnetism don't play it that junk keeps atoms together bro <laughs> dude it's wild it's it's truly wild the stuff that we do uh just even in the u.s but the military. amount of like the railguns are kind of difficult to like weaponize on that scale because they have to be like decently big like they have to be pretty big yes uh, and then, no. um oh, like we have speaking of black files, yeah. there was that one X plane, right? That we saw. There's an X plane that's a black file plane. Where? Um, when did we see that space. one? It was on that uh, that black file show. Oh, it was on Declassified. Yeah, on Declassified. That show, if you guys like sci-fi stuff, Declassified is a good show. We watch He's... a lot of sci-fi channel and. Yeah, this History dude literally was like, yo, meet me out here in the middle of the desert, I'm gonna show you something. This time, da da da. And so he meets him out there, and then he points up to the sky, and he's like, look at that. And he's like, what do you see? He's like, it looks like a satellite. He's like, that's the uh, Black Ball x -plane. And he was like, wait, what? And they pulled a camera out, and they took pictures of it, and they, met, they measured the trajectory to rewind back to where it took off from, and it took off from a SpaceX launch out of Florida. Yep. What? So there's already a space plane. Yeah. And it's apparently its purpose, like what you were saying earlier, is its purpose is to test the longevity of electromechanic, electrical wires and mechanical parts with in long-term space travel. Like it's is been this up for two years? Makes sense. Is this the X-37B that you're talking about? Yep. Okay, because I've seen, I've been seeing things about this plane for a couple of years, and just the, it basically looks like a small uh, space shuttle, if the space shuttle was to be, like, an unmanned aircraft. Yep. And, yeah, like, it, There's I remember. There's in the, in the, in the conspiracy theory world that, like, its purpose is to be able to deliver weapons on demand from anywhere in the world. Does it have like a cargo space? Does it have anywhere to store? Yeah, what? so literally it looks like a space it looks like the space shuttle that we used in the space shuttle program, except it's much smaller and instead of one single tail fin it's got a Y uh, it's got a two tail fins and uh, it's an unmanned craft instead of having like an actual cockpit. It looks more like one of the drone aircraft. So did they plan on getting it back? Did they put like ceramic plating and stuff like that to keep it from burning yeah. up in the atmosphere? Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. It's so it's so it's okay. meant to go uh, to low Earth orbit, and it can reach ridiculous speeds. I forget exactly what its top speed has been, but it's gotten to some some really really ridiculous top speeds. I do enjoy things that move fast. <laughs> <laughs> this so just just to uh, you know this was launched on a spacex rocket so it is yes. in lo uh, low earth orbit uh yes. so it is definitely a space plane so it's, yeah it's um it's wild here let me show our viewers what this thing looks like uh, yeah i would like to see what this looks like actually because i haven't seen this 
Yeah, let me pull it up. I'm gonna pull up on stream in a second. Let me find where did I save this thing? Uh, Coast. Yep, there it is. So that's what it looks like. Um, and it's fairly large. If you want oh, yeah, it is it. just a little space shuttle. That's kind of cute. Mm -hmm. They said it's got about a payload the size of a bed of a pickup truck. Yeah. So it's and not so... huge, but it's got some space where you can load some stuff. And so this is... Um... Pull this one in for you too so you can see it it says it vertically launches and lands on a runway like a plane yes, yes so just like that's the space insane. shuttle yeah that's kind of nuts so yeah, that's so basically exactly the, like the space shuttle would launch the crazy part with it is where it um where it takes off you can't hide that you can't hide space right. launches right so yeah. people know when it takes off, and people know when it lands. And so that's how they can figure out how long it was up in orbit. Well, yeah. so it's, it's completed, it's last mission completed was, uh, oh, I just had it, it was 780 days in space, so just over two years. Yes, yes. Yeah. Dang. And I think it's currently in space again. They yeah, so another one did just launch. Huh? I thought they said mid-June. Mid-June? Engine. So it's so going we, back up into space again. There are two vehicles, and between the two, they have seven years total uh, wow. flight time. That's crazy. So you said the purpose is to test the effects on like the materials and things like that of long, like long stays in space. That's the public reason. That's, that's what, what they what they're, tell That's us. what they're telling us. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> yes. That's that's what they that's what yeah that's what they let us. No, know. but the, public, its true purpose is public... it's totally secret. Well, yeah. it says in the article that I was reading. That its payload includes the advanced structurally embedded thermal spreader experiment, which is measuring how oscillating heat pipes and certain electronics perform in space. Yeah, interesting. It's a freaking yep. laser. Oh yeah, it's All a I want is it's freaking always. sharks. With it's freaking laser beams. Space laser plane. It's a lie. <laughs> it's a total <laughs> laser, and it's going to shoot stuff. It's going to fire watch. kamehamehas down upon us from above. Oh my god. <laughs> We're going to get obliterated like Frieza at the end of the Namek saga. It's going to be over with. So from space.com, which is like dedicated to all this kind of stuff, there's a, there's a sentence here that talks about the two NASA payloads designed to study the effects of radiation on different materials as well as seeds to grow food and, power, and a power beaming experiment using microwave energy. So yes, part of it is a laser. It's a microwave so, laser. So part of it is agriculture, is space agriculture. Culture seeds and materials and, and a laser. And the other part of it is a laser. Okay, okay, I guess. Dang, I guess Elon Musk really covering all the bases, bro. He's like, we gotta grow He's food ready. on Mars. He is ready to go to Mars. And we gotta grow food on Mars growing. and battle. Be ready to battle some freaking Martians, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I mean, we don't know what's up there. <laughs> I mean, speak of uh, space. If you have not started watching. Space Force. Oh, that is the best. You have to. It's I finished so watching it. You did? Yeah, I did. I haven't finished it. I'm like episode 9 or 10. It is and... so funny. It's not as funny as The Office. Everybody had this expectation that it was going to be just like The Office. It's not. But it's funny. So are, it. so are microwaves, like, okay, so this might be a weird question, but I'm not exactly sure about, like, all the different states of matter and what... Are microwave like lasers like visible light? Is it like a visible laser or is it not? Because microwave would not be. No. Yeah, that's that's not well not. outside of the spectrum of uh, visible yeah, light. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Also, uh, kind of off topic thing about light spectrums and things. Did you know that magenta is not a real color? What? Magenta magenta is not a real color. It doesn't exist anywhere on the natural spectrum of light. I mean like, no, we, we, don't I, you dare get into this conversation. <laughs> We've talked about this, and it turned horrible. It was, it turned bad. Uh oh, no, hey, man. Nope. <laughs> nope. 
I mean, there's a color that we see and we call magenta, so I will say that it does I mean, exist, we see but maybe it, but... not, like... I mean, that's like saying, I, mean... I don't know, orange-red you... doesn't exist, it's not an if, actual if you, color, if you take but a look I mean... At this graph, if, if you'll take a look what? at this graph... Orange isn't really a color, then, if you think about it. It's a mix of colors. Um, well, but the actually, thing is, orange, orange is a color. Natural... No, orange is not a color. Orange it's, exists on the natural it's a mix spectrum. Of yellow, and or, and yellow and red, right? Actually, so you still mix it. <laughs> what I said, I'm not. I'm not getting there. I'm not going Do you... there. I'm not doing it. We're gonna. We're gonna talk about how uh, in art, white is the absence of all color, but in science, at uh, white is the presence of every type of color, of every color of light. Oh my god. <laughs> Or how, See? or how in art black is the. All right, this conversation can go way out of. <laughs> All right, uh, Joe said, uh, "Could you shoot a laser to Mars and have something to absorb the energy for use?" Yeah, um, alien spaces. Uh, yeah, I think that'd be I a mean, good way for communication, right? I mean, yeah, that's awesome. basically how they communicate now, though, right? You it's... could do it uninterrupted. Well, so now it's more of like a. When you're thinking satellites, it's Satellite. kind of like a, a wave. It's not, I don't know if it's sound. I, I, it, it's, it's, a, it's radio. I do believe we still use radio waves. Yeah, radio, radio waves, waves for a satellite. Because radio I, waves travel at the speed of light. But, I do um, remember hearing something about laser communication. Um, I mean, it, I feel like laser communication would essentially work like fiber optics, right? Just without believe, the without the hardware, without the cable. You have a um, uh, so like thinking about the oil and gas. Uh, so some of the rigs that are some of the drilling rigs that are way offshore, where they cannot build a superstructure from the seafloor. What they do is they put something on the sea bottom, and it uses a laser to align itself uh, with the rig. And so the rig uh, basically keeps that laser in line the entire time it's drilling. And nope. yeah, it. I wonder, like, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you could use a laser for communication in the same way. As long as you keep those two points aligned, then you can communicate via light. I, that is they've true. They've 100% but have been doing laser communication in space since, like, the 90s. I'm kind of skeptical, though, because there is a lot of noise in between here and Mars. And getting that to work consistently might be kind of an issue, depending I, on, like, where planets are at X times and freaking the asteroid belts in between here too. And what's orbiting there's, around what? That's what I'm saying. There's also the a lot of metal. Pulls. There's I also wonder, a lot of metal actually, in the asteroid belt, which could interfere with it. I wish we had like an astrophysicist in here. But, uh, I know an astrophysicist. Sarkronos is an astrophysics them. major. Maybe he there can. You go. Maybe he, can, he, he Sarko, can't get Sark, the stream to load, apparently. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Astrophysics major can't get the astrophysics the major. Alone. I'm a communications major, but I haven't learned anything about laser. I'm not that to that level. I'm not at laser well, communications. Well, what right. I'm wondering is, does gravity around bigger planets affect? Does it bend uh, radio waves? Bend so, waves. yeah. Like so, if you're light, using right? light, yeah, I because don't you're know. using a laser. Is, is laser technically the same thing as a light wave? It depends. Anything I guess it depends on what type of laser it is. Anything it's... can throw off the beam of a laser, though. It yeah. can change its direction. Just one little calculation. Like, think about it like in a garage door. You have those two laser sensors that half the eyes have that to never <laughs> That never oh, works. Well, hold on. You know what I mean? Let's go back to my my uh, my example of the oil rigs, the offshore oil rigs that use lasers to align themselves. Okay. Obviously, there's a lot in the in between the points uh, on the rig and the seafloor. Yeah. So, I mean, first of all, you have the sea, you have the ocean, which is <laughs> full of all sorts of things. It's not uh, it's not very clear. I mean, like I don't know what the visibility is in some of those places, but you're not going to have a hundred percent visibility. Um, and then you have all sorts of different things that could possibly get in the way, whether it's animals, sea life, or if it's trash or things like that. And somehow they're still able to communicate. Yeah, so you're that's true, a but very generally short ra distance radio mm -hmm. wave, yeah, compared to relatively like, like short, all... yes. But yeah. th you also have to consider the amount of uh, noise that you get there, because I, I don't know if you've ever taken a uh, let's 
uh, if you've ever taken a uh, picture underwater using a flash, you yeah. get a lot of backscatter from True. all of the stuff floating Light in, does the, disperse in the water. a lot while trying to travel through water. Like one of the things about one of the reasons it's so dark at the bottom of the ocean is because it's very it's the light gets spread out so much trying to get down to the bottom it kind of can't penetrate like past a certain amount which makes me wonder i guess the laser is more focused so that would make more sense because there's more energy being poured into like one spot so it might be easier but you would think that the laser would be would at least like diffuse a little bit from trying to go all the way up through the ocean floor kind of like like the sunlight does the sunlight yeah. Sunlight does not penetrate to the ocean floor. It gets dispersed, and that's why it's so dark down there. So, it it, it just... <laughs> laser science is... I mean, Schoon's got a point, too, though. Yeah, uh, that's true, if it's not transmitting, If it's not transmitting info, and it's just using a signal to the location, and if that gets interrupted, and then adjusts when the signal comes back. Mm -hmm. If you're transmitting a file through a laser... And then it gets interrupted. You lose packets right. on that laser. That's true. That file is corrupt. Yeah. You can't open it. That's very true. That that is true. Like you would have to. And there's a lot of. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff between here and Mars. You got the whole asteroid belt that has a lot of metal in it. Yeah, I'm like sneezing like crazy. And here. and metal kind of notoriously messes with radio waves and things that transmit information like that, like the presence of other metals. So. Yeah. Then again, sometimes it also amplifies signals. The oh, there we go. Schoon said that his brother did a doc did his doctorate on lasers. If we want to bring him on, so come on, call him on right now. Give him the call. <laughs> <laughs> and we're it's taking the late. call. We're gonna we're gonna take callers. You can do a callers. doctorate on lasers. That's a thing. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. That's what, so freaking that? cool. But uh, so now, okay, so yes, you're using one. One point on each side to transmit data, but if you had uh, redundant points, like like say five, we'll just say five points, all communicating the same thing. If one drops out, the other four are still communicating, right? So then you have this redundancy. It's kind of like let's think of um, is it RAID one, where you have multiple hard drives, everything spread across all of them. And then, uh, and you have redundancy on each one. And yeah. so if one fails, you can basically go like, you know, throw in another one and it copies everything over and you're good to go. So if you've got like, uh, five lasers all communicating and maybe three drop out, you still have the two that had the connection. And then from that, they can go, okay, well, this is what it was supposed to be. Boom. And then you've got your data file intact. Yeah. For some reason, that makes me think about like the D, like, some, something about like the DNA process and how RNA produces things. I'm just thinking. So, so it's like an auto, so it's like an like automatic. That. So is it like an automatic backup system? Uh, so I think it's RAID one. Might be RAID zero. I think RAID one is redundancy, and so basically what that does is um, <clears throat> it stripes the data across multiple hard drives. So mm -hmm. each hard drive has uh, a portion of a file, essentially, and it's uh, and then each hard drive also has a file on it to read those files. And so if one hard drive fails, you still have most of the files on the other two, and then you've got this file that basically tells them how to read that. And so what you do is you just take out the failing hard drive, throw in a new one, and then the system will automatically. Uh, basically recreate the missing data and then all your data is still there so it kind of reverse engineers itself kind of yeah it's like basically they've got like some of the data and then instructions on what was missing to recreate it that's okay that's pretty cool i guess that would be a way to like circumvent that if some of the stuff got interrupted Also, what what makes me think something that makes me think would it depend on what side like what like what time of day it is, like what direction like wherever you are on the planet is facing from where you try to send the laser? Because, I mean, I don't I mean, know. I'm assuming you couldn't just send the, like for instance, you know, this you side can, of Earth is facing well, you Mars. Can bounce it off satellites to get it. For you That's true. Right? That's true. Yeah, you you could probably do that. That's true. Like you're bouncing lasers off mirrors, right? That's a thing. That's how you can make lasers stronger, I think. 
It's I was wrong. It's not raid one. It's raid zero. I was gonna. I wasn't gonna say anything, but I was. My head was thinking that. But then I was dude, like, I couldn't I'm remember. Wrong. I thought I was wrong for a second. <laughs> I know that raid five is a combination of raid one and zero, and then I yeah. forget which one is which. So, yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, cool. On that note, um, we are going to go ahead and start the giveaway. But should we give away a Tuner's Edge hat or another mug? We have. A mug. Oh, the hats are pretty sweet. Or a hat. <laughs> What's that vote for? You know, right? <laughs> Which one do you guys want? Um, oh, that was a sweet transition. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, the mug is still a pretty darn choice. Like, <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I like pretty... the mug, and I don't even have one yet. I know. I need to, we need to, buy need one. to get one. We do need to buy one. Um, yeah, I'm surprised you guys don't, like, use those for your drinks during the show. I've been asking. I'm like, we need to I get need those to for one. our drinks. I think it's funny how it has an image of y'all just both freaking flush <laughs> from drinking. From drinking? <laughs> at, least kinda, at least that's kind of what it looks like to me. It looks like you're both, like, flushed because you're, like, buzzed. <laughs> mm -hmm. We were in that photo that it's a rendition of, so... Oh, because, yeah, that was in Dallas. That was that Dallas. Was a, that was a night in Dallas. When we... we woke up drunk. Yeah, dude. I think we were drunk for a whole And that was show. how Tuner and Scooby got married. They, yeah, they, I wish. they woke up one <laughs> morning in well, Dallas. They were just both drunk. <laughs> and they were like, oh, well. We weren't old what? enough to drink when we got married. That's true. I wasn't even old enough to go to the bar. Nope. I was a youngin. I'll be old enough to do that this year. I'm probably not going to, though, because I am All a square. Right, so we'll do a mug. Well, it's just too crazy to go out right now. There's too much going on. Let me start this giveaway. Um, so we're doing a tumbler? We'll do another tumbler. Okay. Um, if we can get, like I said, guys, if we can get to 50 followers, I'm going to give away a Google Mini. It's going to happen. Y'all better get some followers up here. I have a friend who just abuses the absolute crap out of his Google Mini. Like, every time I'm on PS4 lobbies with him, he'll just be like, Hey, Google, shut the up. And I'm like, bro, why you gotta talk to it like that? And, then, Google, that. and then Google's like, okay, okay. <laughs> um, no, I got annoyed with, uh, so I've got Google Homes just about everywhere, or displays and stuff, and uh, I got annoyed with it one day, and I was like, you suck. And she's like, please don't talk to me that way. <laughs> like what? Okay. So the Brace raffle is now Brace open. Up. Exclamation raffle in the chat to enter the raffle for a mug. We're gonna give them away another mug. Um, from what uh, one of our viewers, Nathan, said, he got his in the mail. Says it's pretty awesome, and he really is already enjoying it. That was uh, pretty. Yeah. That was pretty darn fast. That was like a week ago. Yeah, it was right. actually, I can tell you, it was 11 days ago. I'm actually really paranoid right now because I ordered a motor stand, like, for my dad so he could stand his boat motor and, like, work on it. And cool. it, it, I got a refund for it, like, a, two days after freaking ordering it. And they're like, oh, well, it didn't pass our, like, quality checks. And they're still sending it to me, but they sent a refund. So I have to give my dad the money from the refund now. And they're still <laughs> sending it. That's so I'm a little shady. <laughs> I'm I'm wondering what, no like I my dad paid for it he just doesn't like putting his stuff online like his credit card and junk online so I ordered oh, it yeah, for I don't him. Pay it. I don't I don't blame him for that. And the thing is like they're they're like oh this isn't this didn't pass our like quality checks but we're so we're gonna refund you but it's still coming so I'm wondering if the box is just really jacked up because there's no way that they would have just opened the the box and like looked at the mo like the stand to see if it was there so it's probably just an issue with the packaging. Which I'm hoping so, because that would mean we literally got this junk for free, and we take those in my family. Of course, we we do in fact take those. But I'm not. Opposed but if it was a quality control check, I think maybe it. I don't know. I don't know. Like that's why I'm kind of worried about. For a box, about. I don't know if they would or not. I mean, we've gotten some pretty damaged boxes. I mean, we got some damaged uh, equipment today. Yeah, we. Uh, I ordered a pull stick. Uh, uh, cheater stick. I don't know what they're really called. A bridge. Um, yeah, a bridge. Mm 
and uh, it was broke when I got it. I ordered a, uh, I ordered a mug from a Redbubble. It was a ceramic mug, and it was of my own pattern because I put my own pattern on Redbubble, and I ordered a mug of it, and I was gonna give it to my uncle, and it was just broke. Like it was just in pieces when it got here. Oh damn! Hey, they sent you a jigsaw puzzle. You should thank them. <laughs> put it back together. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? Um, Actually, if I had the if I had the mental constitution for that at the time, I probably would have took some super glue and glued that whole back together. That would have been a fun project. Do it in that that the Japanese style where they use gold glue. Okay. The only the only problem with that is that I've super glue to do that. super glue oftentimes breaks up with heat. Like on it, like heat is usually the way that you get rid of super glue. And I'm not exactly <laughs> sure whether or not. The, it's a company? mug for cold drinks. Come on. You put a hot drink in it and it just breaks apart. <laughs> yeah. It's a mug for only iced coffee and freaking Kool-Aid. Iced coffee sounds really good. I mean, am I the only one here that sees a uh, mug and goes, oh, that's probably cold? Yeah, because I always yeah, think hot I, I believe with mugs. Okay, what does annoy me is that ceramics are really resistant to heat, but they still conduct a lot of heat. So it's like <laughs> you put something hot in a mug and it's not like you can just you like at least this is what I do. I just hold it by the handle really freaking delicately because I don't want to put my hand around the thing. It's freaking well, hopefully this mug will like a hot keep your stove. Drink hot or cold. Well, this that's what this mug does. It keeps whatever you put in either hot or cold. Oh shoot, is that a lid? I'm just now noticing is that a it's like, a, it's like a Yeti cup almost. Yeah, it's, a, it's like Man, a that's, Yeti that's, cup. that's freaking choice. Y'all bringing out the, the quality the quality things here. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, that's there's right. uh, actually, I think if you do, um, is it mug? Yeah. Johnny, I didn't hear that's uh the company that you ordered the. Uh, it was red. Uh, it was Red Bubble. No, red no, no, Bubble. for the 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 uh, engine stand. For the engine stand. Uh, uh, yeah. Let me yeah. let me take a look. Hold up, I can go to my Amazon. Because apparently, uh, if it was Harbor Freight, uh, they had a recall of 1.7 million stands there. Uh, let me uh, see. That's, uh, Joe's that's from uh, Joe Bob Smiley. Okay, so according to this, it says that it was from Cone Conlacrit. Well, don't know that brand. Conlacrit. Okay. Weird name, but uh, that's that's it. Yeah, Cone Lacrit. Hmm. That that was the name. Also, this thing is like twice the price on Amazon now from what it was when I ordered it. What twice the heck? The price. It's two. It's like t I ordered it for like forty. No, actually, no, it's not. It's not twice. I'm freaking high. I'm thinking about the price I ordered my webcam for. It's a damn Kool Aid. Um, it is all the freaking Kool Aid. <laughs> actually, I haven't even drank the Kool Aid. The Kool Aid's like right here. I have like this random thing of Kool Aid, and then I have this coat that I got from Chick Fil A like right before we started the stream. And I'm <laughs> You need to put some Kool Aid, Kool Aid. It's Kool Aid. It's in the, uh, the uh, Chick Fil A cup. <laughs> so oh, wait, that's what's actually in it. Look at that smile. <laughs> yeah. like, this is the smile of innocence, bro. I don't know what y'all are insinuating. Smile of innocence. Uh -huh. um, right. 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 I. I... <laughs> actually, oh, there is this. Um, there is actually a story of this one time where. Me and my like my I don't I don't really drink, and I wasn't drinking like at this time. But me and my 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 friends did, and we had this buddy named Brandon. He was like 24, and he was gonna get like basically he was gonna like go like in the store and like get some alcohol. So that you know the 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 thing that college students do like we were doing that thing. So yeah. we were all at the Walmart, and I wanted some honey buns. Your boy was your boy was your boy likes his honey buns. So I was getting me some honey buns, and. <laughs> I, I, for whatever honey reason, next time. I ended up having to go to the bathroom. So I gave my honey buns to my friend. And this was like right before they went to go check out the alcohol. And they were checking like my friend's ID. And they didn't know that like he was with us. Right. right. And so I come back like at the exact time that they're trying to check my friend's ID, asking where my honey buns are. And thus tipping the employee off that like we're all together. And they're like, okay, we're gonna need to see all your IDs then. And so we just oh had, man, like I jacked the whole thing up for some honey buns, and I was like, Look, bruh, you know you what? It, it, it was worth it, man. You can't go walking up to somebody who's checking out with alcohol if you're underage and and I didn't you know, know act like you're with out. them. 
I think I would do that for fun. So I didn't we went to uh, <laughs> we went to the liquor store to get some alcohol one day, and I was like, dang, I forgot my ID. Um, and so she's like, fine, I got mine, I'll buy it. And so we go in the store, and what does this guy do? I walk up to the lady giving free samples of wine and go, hey, can I try that? Sure, let me see your ID. I was like, oh, I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. You see the look I'm getting. Nailed it. it. <laughs> I think I think our, you ruin it for everybody else. <laughs> I think our friend just ended up giving like my friend some alcohol like from his house. Like he had, apparently had like a stash or something like that at his house. Oh and my god. That was it. Like I said, like my, my my first experiences with alcohol were some interesting ones, bro. My first like actually like the first and last time that I ever got buzzed was like on vodka mixed with coke. Oh, that stuff god. was disgusting. No, oh no. no. Dude, you gotta it mix like, it with Mountain Dew Code Red. But Dude, that was, it was your like, mistake. It was like two <laughs> we do not condone underage drinking. Hell we, no, we don't. So, we do not. We do no, not. Um, I should not that was not that was not a thing I should have done. I, I am um, a bad So I mean that could cause a lawsuit. Like the Google lawsuit. If you oh, guys nice don't transition. know Oh, with that segue, you though. You guys don't know. If you're, I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn some Google fans here, cause I mean, I like Google Chrome. I use Look, it. for I for Gosh, one for accept Google my Google Chrome. overlords. Oh, uh, Google Chrome can actually suck it because I've gotten like 50 viruses. No, I literally have a computer right here. I have a laptop right here that doesn't work because of that bullcrap. <laughs> no, you can take your freaking advertisement. You can you take your have an antivirus too. I mean, you can't just trust a Google Chrome to block all those. Man, I'm too broke for antivirus. Nastiness. You think I got money for antivirus? I mean, they got free ones, bro. It's just full of ads too. He's a college student. You think he has money for antivirus? I think the money antivirus. Have, the anti, the free antivirus have secret viruses in them. They do. <laughs> uh, it's BS. They do. Uh, Microsoft just updated the uh, uh, release. Oh, the updated version. Scoon. So I'll go into that in a second. But Google, Ugh, Microsoft Edge. If you use Google uh, incognito mode, your data is not incognito. No, it's not. Everybody's no. got your data <gasps> now. Oh my gosh! And Google <laughs> still oh, collects it. Yep. And we've had many of discussions on this show about extensions. Yep. And how they can access all of your data. However, since that discussion, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed. If you go to some of these extensions now, you can, um, on some of them, you can change the read or uh, write options of those extensions. So, yeah. so, it, so you're telling me, allows you. so you're telling me that if I'm on Google Chrome and I'm going into incognito, right, and mm -hmm. I'm searching up secret. like, if I'm trying to look for like Selena Gomez's feet pics or something like that, you're telling me that somebody could be seeing that. Of course. Somebody, oh, Google's, okay. Google's tracking it. Yeah. Google's going, this dude's secretly looking for this stuff. Okay, see, now I got to figure out a way to hack Google servers and delete my search history from the source. That's all that means. We don't want Selena oh, that means. to find out you're looking for her feet. Because <laughs> Johnny's got an obsession with Selena Gomez's feet. Oh, man. Look at Huzzah. He looks upset. He looks super upset. No, in fact. I'm just reading... Uh... So if you if you open up Google Chrome and you open up an incognito window, it gives you a little warning there that, you know, uh, now you can browse privately and other people who use this device won't see your activity. However, downloads and bookmarks will be saved. Yeah, and your then ISP, your ISP also has access to whatever you look at. Yeah, so it continues to go on and it says Chrome won't save the following information. Your browsing history, cookies and site data, and information entered in forms. Your activity might still be visible to websites you visit, your employer or school, your internet service provider. So, so. This video is not in fact sponsored by NordVPN, by the way. Just letting y'all know. <laughs> <laughs> you better at least have an affiliate if you're gonna drop something like that. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, but it is what it is. I mean, what do you guys think about using a VPN? Do you think using a VPN is inherently safer than? Like, this is an actual question. But the only way to to be safe from anything is to not do it, not use yeah. technology. 
But do yeah, you think so we that we have a VPN at work, and we've still gotten people have still gotten viruses with the VPN at work? Mm -hmm. Well, what I'm saying is, do you think that in terms of like like exterior like you know parties having access to what you're tracking do, and you things think, like do that? Do you think that so a VPN is a is a valid layer of protection to at least try to prevent that? Firewalls. Firewalls is what you're thinking of. So you want to have a dual layer firewall in your network. And that will help block traffic in. And it will also so help block it, it'll help you want to see. block traffic in, but your ISP sees everything that's going over the network. They can see those packets. So mm -hmm. even if you're connecting to a VPN in South Korea, and then through that VPN, you're getting data, they will see the data that's going across their network. They can yeah. still see it. But so in like, terms of... Like, it, like other people trying to access the network or other people trying to like so, doing your um it's i mean it, it helps to a point but like like tuner's edge was saying it it you know the the best way to defend yourself from it is just not use it don't connect yep. to the internet otherwise yep. i mean you can do things to mitigate the risk I'm a scuba diver. They tell you there's there's no such thing as zero risk diving. You just what we teach you is to is how to mitigate the risk, and that's the same thing that goes for a lot of things, especially accessing the internet. If you're using a VPN, yep. dual layer firewalls, things like that, you're mitigating your risk, but you are not reducing it to zero. There's no such thing as zero. That's a fact. Yeah. Hello, BK, BMK Star. How is it going? Welcome to the podcast. Um, yeah, man. I mean. Oh, that's, that's Mike. Hey, Mike. Right, is making sure that you're, um, you're just aware that your data is getting out there. Everybody yeah. has it. I didn't um, even know I told. Oh, I linked it to the server. That's how Mike. Did it. Your digital. That's how you break your computer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your your digital thumbprint is as unique as your personal thumbprint. Like, uh, trackers online. They have identified, like, they can identify your habits to the point where it's pretty easy to tell if it's you accessing from somebody else's computer or not. Just from your own browsing habits and things like that. Yeah. And that's that's something that's been around for a long time. So that's, pr that's pretty much how Google and other companies, like, make those personalized ads and why it seems like, oh, you could be talking about, <laughs> you could yeah. be literally talking about something and in an and ad pops up. Which is why I don't use Chrome. I don't trust it. I don't even trust Windows 10. I feel like Windows 10 is freaking spying on me. God dang. If I could downgrade to Windows 7 again, I'd do it in a freaking heartbeat. Man. Oh, they're still spying on you in Windows 7. Yeah. I know, but dude, Windows 10 is... I think Windows 10 is probably the worst operating system that Microsoft has put out in a long time. No, I, I love 10. I, I freaking hate Windows 10. Windows it's 8 was Windows the worst. 8. Okay, it is better. was the worst. I think 10 is the best. I, I hate Windows Oh, she's Linux. Are you are you a Linux girl? Because I've I've heard good Mac? things about Linux. I, I have heard Mac. good things. I've used Linux for a while, and I like my Mac too. But I do want to try Linux one day. Like Linux if I ever is... build, if I if I ever get enough money to like build my own computer, like build my own desktop, I will probably see if I can look into getting Linux on it. Yeah. I mean, we Just had cause... Linux for a long time, and we taught our kids how to use it. Yep. Yo, you guys um, can take it. Quick you. reminder in chat, guys, exclamation raffle uh, in chat will get you entered to win that cool little mug that's right Oh, uh, yeah, Mike, uh, enter the raffle, man. Uh, do exclamation mark uh, raffle, I think it is. Exclamation mark raffle, and yeah. you'll put you in a raffle. You can win a mug, dude. It's a, it's a pretty sick mug. Yeah. We got to get partnered. If, or not partnered, affiliate. If we can get affiliate, guys, we can have a better quality stream for sure oh yeah um, as soon as we get affiliate we can actually have better options i mean i'm setting some good quality bit rates across them at 5800 um uh, but we're streaming at 720 so it makes it difficult for man i'm just worried about my freaking frame support. rates being good you guys are up here doing all this freaking next level stuff i'm just trying to make sure people can freaking see me <laughs> <laughs> and 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 my voice doesn't follow the image after like five seconds so you're not lagging on here Right. Like you are in your stream at all. Yeah, um, I actually do believe that I fixed that. I, I tested it. I added a delay to the uh, to the mic to where the mic should be synced up with the video now. 
But I do run into this problem now to where my uh, my game capture or whatever I'm capturing will be a little bit faster than my camera plus mic, and I don't really know how to fix that yet. But it's not as big of a problem as just my mic being completely out of sync with my video. Nice. Um, so moving on. Um, yeah, and going back to what Skin was saying, um, Microsoft's new Edge browser is Chromium based. So it's just as good as Chrome. Uh, and it's huge for Microsoft to finally do that. And I think some of the best part behind it is all your corporate companies, uh, like the large oil companies, including the one I work for, are pushing everybody to move to the new Edge browser. Uh, because it's still, the reason they liked Internet Explorer over Chrome was they can manage the policies on the browser. Mm -hmm. um, and you can't do that with Chrome. But now you can do that with the new Edge, the new Edge browser which is chromium based i use firefox for the most part with my stuff because mm -hmm. man i just had such a bad experience with chrome i just didn't want to go back to it i had a really terrible experience with chrome when i was using it and it, it like i said i do but i do honestly believe that chrome is the main reason that like i i bricked my last laptop it's not bricked like it still works but yeah the thing was jacked up bro and I'm not like, I wasn't getting on like a whole bunch of like sketchy sites and junk. It was just the stuff that was constantly popping up from Chrome. Like there would be embeds like in the text that would show ads. Like I would be reading like. So you had a plugin or something that was doing yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. Sounds, I don't know like where. It's a virus. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where, like a virus. Or where I got it from. Yeah. It, it was it was definitely a plugin because it was like giving me ads on like my emails and shite. And I was just like, what mm. is this? That's I mean, the speaking of things that are yeah. good, that uh, were promised to be good, and did not end up being good, ha. Mm -hmm. what do you guys think about Crucible? I okay. didn't like it so, from day one. I played the game when it got released, and Sark played the game when it got released. I don't know if Sark is here, but dude, we could not, we had four people we were trying to run that game with, we were trying to run a whole team. We could not get half of us to connect at any given point half the oh, time wow. like every time we queued for a game bryce would like sark would not load in and we would just have to come out because for some reason you know how if you disconnect if somebody disconnect you're supposed to have a system that fills somebody else in from the from the system that never worked on release it just never worked it always sent us back the for some for whatever reason i don't know if this was an intentional feature or not but it was kind of annoying if you made a party and then all of you closed the game you would still be in a party with the person if you open the game back up and you would have to manually leave the party. Now, it was cool because if all of you started the game up, you would just be in a party again. But it was also kind of weird that this was a thing that wasn't polished out or anything. Um, did yep. you play the game past like beta tuner? Did you ever play the so game? I on played in alpha. I played in beta and I stopped in beta. I was done. Now, what, what did you what did you not like about it? I mean, I didn't like the gameplay. I didn't like the uh, the gameplay, um, and I did feel like the devs were constantly having to put us into a game. Um, but I don't know. I just I didn't enjoy it. I even watched plenty of games. I sat there in Discord and watched them play, and I was just like, man, this just I wasn't feeling it. The graphics didn't feel like they were where they should be. Yeah, no, um, I felt the same thing. It's, it's like, wild because then you got games like Overwatch that are just super polished and have been around for how many years now? And people still play that game. I think yeah. Overwatch has been around for two years, three years. Yeah, and people so, still like, want to go play Actually, that game. no, I think it released in 2016, so it's been four years. Yeah, Overwatch Joe, is... Joe Bob plays it every day, I think. O Overwatch know, like, is, a, is a different beast, though, because where Overwatch has its... Overwatch has most of its problems in the things that the devs, like, do to the... To the experience because the game itself like the gameplay is fine but then you get to the point where when overwatch was first released one of the main selling points of the game was that you know you can make this team you could have this team comp you could it, when the game first came out you could have six genjis if you wanted to and play six genjis you know what i'm saying like you could make your team pretty much built around like the differences between the characters now i'm not saying it was a good thing 
for you to be able to choose six characters at once. And you couldn't. Like, they, they did take that out pretty soon, and then they added a game mode that let you still do it, but it wasn't the serious game mode, nor was it the basic casual game. But now, because I believe because of the esports scene and because of professional, they're trying to push this game so hard to be an esport, it's kind of sucked the fun out of the game, at least for me as a casual player. Now, I'm Prestige 2 in Overwatch. I played that game a lot. And when I came back to the game after a year and discovered that you're forced to roll Q now, and you can only have two of each archetype of character on, on a team, you can't mix like and make character combinations anymore, even if the characters aren't the same character, that killed it for me. Because I was like, dude, not only did you combine two entire classes of character, the defense class and the offense class, you put them into one class, thus making them one role, even though they serve completely different functions. Like, Torbjorn does not serve the same freaking function on a team as Genji or Farah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But they're in the same I class. Mean, I think... And, but I think that's why... Um, um, what's it called? Oh my gosh. The game that Riot just came out with. Um, uh, Champions uh, of the... No, it, it's like based off of League, isn't it? No, uh, it's based off of CSGO. Um, oh, Valorant. Um, Valorant. 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 Valorant, yeah. I, I have not gotten Valorant no works really well because there are six characters or whatever. I think it's not even six. I think it's like four or whatever. Um, and it's, you pick one. It doesn't matter, right? Like, you you pick one, you eliminate, that's your character. That's who you're playing. Um, it's kind of like the whole uh, in-and-out menu mentality and the whole Kane's chicken mentality. It's I the love simpler Kane's the chicken. better, right? Like, when you guys told me there's like thousand players to pick on Smite, the first thing I was like, dude, I'm not even... 103. There's 100. 100. You know, it's it's, like, it's like 106. 106, it's 106 still, is it? I don't know. Uh, that's crazy. Dude, honestly, honestly, yeah, you it started actually, out you with pick, like... You pick up the meta pretty fast, to be honest. Yeah. It's like, it's pretty... Like, because there are still archetypes of characters within the game, and you kind of learn, like, during certain metas, you kind of learn what characters are good and what characters aren't good for whatever meta you happen to be in whatever map you happen to be on it it, it seems like a lot but then you 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 play the game enough and it kind of just becomes natural to you when the gen when you learn about the general way that the community approaches the game yeah, but the yeah. problem with valorant is that un unlike smite unlike overwatch unlike all these games when i was playing valorant i felt like no real like i didn't feel as strong of a reason to really give a crap about the character I was playing. And I feel like in a hero shooter, that's really important. Valorant's characters don't stand out to me a whole lot. They're kind of sort of bland, in my opinion. Like, you have small, cute robot that looks like freaking Eve from Wally. -E. Okay. Like, it plants things. All right. You got freaking Soldier 76, basically. And then you got woman with eye patch who's very tough and dressed in armor that's not necessarily <laughs> that's not designed necessarily very interestingly i think the main characters in the game that are distinctive are probably earl and like summer in my opinion summer is probably the best designed character in that whole game i love her whole like polynesian like thing like the way her hair is like the design of her like flamethrowers and stuff and how they're basically the story behind them is that she rigged them up like, all the characters do not seem like they had as much work put into, like, developing them as so Summer. It's like sloppy. Yeah. They've just kind of it, put it, together it, at a whim. They, they kind of just made, like, a bunch of kind of generic shooter archetype characters. They like, spent all their time on one character, and then they're like, okay, but we need more. We need nine more. <laughs> <laughs> we need nine more. We I can't mean, just have one character, guys. Earl is kind of interesting. But he basic he basically suits the same role as the heavy from TF2, and it, it, it's kind of cool how he named his gun after his wife and all this junk and like all that. But the the game just misses some things. Like the game doesn't feel finished to me, and it's evident in both like the content of the game, the fact that you have this big MOBA style game, but there's only three types of monsters to fight outside of the hive, outside of the main objective. There's three monsters on this really big map. Uh, sound cutting in and out. Somebody says. Um. Does anybody else have like, issues? Does anybody else have issues? Network issues or something. I don't know this network issues, but we're. I'm watching. 
um, the stats, and they look fine. Um, I'm watching. FYI, we have three minutes left. Um, for the raffle. For the raffle. If you guys want to enter, get in there. You have three minutes. And um, counting. So. But I feel like, you know, you saw Overwatch. Overwatch didn't have a story mode either, but Overwatch had, like, this overarching, like, background story that connected you to the world and made you give a crap about the character you're playing as. And I feel like if you're going to have a hero shooter and you're going to make something off of that, you know, pick your character archetype, that choose your fighter archetype, you have to make people care about the world. You have to make people care about the characters. And I feel like the main, re like aside from all the gameplay reasons to me, that is probably the biggest reason that Valorant is like a flop, is that you don't feel connected to the world. Now the gameplay is freaking an issue too, because hit detection is garbage. The game was choppy as hell for most people both on the server side and on the frame rate side of people who ran the game even on low settings with decent computers yeah. um the game has mm. like i said hit detection issues because you'll swear your reticle is on somebody and it either won't hit them because hit detection is bad or it won't hit them because projectile speed on a lot of the weapons does not feel like bullets it feels like you're shooting them with freaking bb guns yeah so we yeah. have one minute 30 seconds left guys on the giveaway um, so if you guys, do you guys want to go ahead and talk about the next topic about Sega coming back to Microsoft yes. Gaming? Yes. Um, what do you guys think about that? Um, does this include Streets of Rage? Does this include Streets of Rage? Does, does, this, does this collection know. include Streets of Rage? No, it's got uh, Sonic, Outrun, Shining Force, uh, what other And I swear Golden Axe better be in there, I'm gonna riot. <laughs> well, I don't see it in there. Um, right. Puyo puts us. Puyo. Puyo. Puyo puts us. Uh, I actually know that game. I'm, I'm, um, I'm... Oh, it's the Game it. Gear. They're bringing. They they're, they're making a mini version of the Game Gear. It's a mini yeah. version of the Game Gear. Yes. That's yeah. freaking sick. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. I like the little CRT, uh, big window. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like it's, it's a big old T. It's like a big old CRT screen. That's yep. pretty yeah. cute. Uh, it's pretty nuts. I do think this thing looks like seconds, it's a little guys, bit small. Twenty seconds. This thing looks a little bit small though. I'm kind of worried about if you have long fingers or big hands. This thing kind of seems like it'd be uncomfortable to play. Look, I already know that. It wrong. hurts to play even my my switch if I'm not using like a the pro controller or something. If I'm holding the switch and playing oh, it or yeah. like a it's... Game Boy or anything like that, that already hurts my hands to play. So yeah. there's no way I'm going to enjoy playing one of these yeah. for more than like five this, minutes before my hands like start hurting. Gear, it's not like the technology in the Game Gear is necessarily like that. It, I don't understand why they made a portable system like more portable because the Game Gear wasn't necessary. It was a portable system already. Yeah, like I, get, I get making it a bit smaller because you can, but I don't think that making it literally the size of like a phone on something you're supposed to hold like this, I don't think that's <laughs> the play. It I looks like the size of the original NES controller. It looks like one of the game. It I think it's a little, a little bit small. smaller than that. It might be even smaller. Yeah, because look at the size of it compared to the palm of this person's hands. Like Unless you can fit. Yeah, here, let me let me show yeah. this. Yeah, I guess so. Like, yeah. It them. says it's less. It like the main body crushed. is less than forty percent of the original size. Yeah, I don't think that's a good thing. That's I think, not a selling point. Yeah, no. I don't think. It's like just because you can make something smaller, it doesn't mean you do. Like you should. <laughs> You could make. You a were PS so preoccupied with whether or not you could, but you never stopped to ask yourself whether or not you should. Yeah, just because you can make a PS4 controller the size of a pixie stick doesn't mean it'd be a comfortable thing to game with. Mm. Here, let me, let me, uh... Ooh, that's bright. Oh, yeah, that was super bright. Let me get this and show this to... Oh, they're selling them on a game-by-game -game basis, so each one is gonna have a... It's like a game and watch. It's like a game, yeah. It's like a, it's like the Nintendo Game and Watch, like, or ni not. I don't know if that was a Nintendo thing, but it's like the Game and Watch games, where you have like one of the little things with the with the like black filters and, and you know they play. Wait animation. for it, they're fifty bucks each. Oh, they're hell fifty no. bucks each. So you can go buy an actual game for your console for about five to ten dollars more. I could go, or you can go buy this little thing. So. 
Perfect. Am I getting Sonic I, triple trouble? Uh, no. Am I getting look, Sonic triple trouble? Look, at, look at how tiny those things are. Those are kid either, hands too. Either that's not an those adult. Are small. Those are like giant hands. No, those are kids' <laughs> hands. Maybe they're meant to be collectors' items. You know what this reminds items? me of? You know the little, uh, you know the little toys where it was filled with water and you had rings in it and you press the button and you try yeah. to. Oh, I remember rings. that. That's what this reminds me of. That's like <laughs> this level of like I don't give a shit <laughs> for for these types of things because like you feel like you'd be playing that. I mean like. What yeah. No. The this ones looks that we used to play terrible. where you had the fake pets. Oh, uh, Tamagotchi. 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 That's what it reminds me yeah. of. Dude, this so thing small. is, the buttons on this thing are like half the size of your thumb. Like the, the entire so D-pad. Small. The entire That's... D-pad is like half the size of your thumb. <laughs> like the whole thing. It's so small. And these don't look terribly durable either. They, no. they, they look, they look pretty freaking like cheap. I'm not gonna I, lie. Like, I love I... Sega. But this this does not look like. I feel like Sega could have done better if they had just ported their their games into apps for uh, mobile phones. Which is what they've app. done. They've done that. Yeah. In the, they did it with Sonic they, CD. They did it with the first three Sonic games. Or they've Sonic done it. So why not continue doing that? Sell them for I don't know a dollar to five dollars a game. You'd get a lot more people buying it. Nobody's going to buy these things, especially if it's $50 per game. Like, literally, that's the cost of going out and buying an actual game. Uh, so, Sega re-release Jet Set Radio Future, or give us a sequel. <laughs> God dang it, Sega. Ah. I had high hopes for Sega, but I think this is just going to... Yeah, I, I mean, I love Sega, but this ain't the move. Because, I mean, as a, as, a young, as a young college student who pretty much has to look at my bank account freaking intensely every single time I make a purchase. This is not something that I want to spend fifteen dollars on. I'm sorry. Yeah. This is not the type of thing that I would that I would blow fifty bucks on in an in impulse of bad judgment. I mean <laughs> And I wouldn't blame you for it. Also it would it would be different if it was fifty bucks and you got all the games, but right. is it is it does it have all the games on there or is it like a per game like do you have to No, it's it's per game. It, it's per game. So it's per game. So you have to buy one of these for every game you want to play. That is ridiculous. Yeah. They could have ported you could take these things these games take no space. You could have put a flash drive inside of something this big and put all of them on there and then sold that for 50 bucks. But you decided to do no. So is that, the magnifying screen an add-on? Yes. Yes. It, it is an add-on. It, it is a peripheral it looks like. And that's probably 50 bucks, too. They're probably going to make you shell out 50 bucks for that hoe, too. So good wait, luck with wait. that. It says these playable mascots will be available as a collection for $260. No. So you can no, go no, buy no. a, a Nintendo insane? Switch for that cost. No. Oh, oh my God. Get out of here. I'm, I'm, done. I'm not going to buy over. a Nintendo Switch Lite. Over. All right. We're over. Or, it's oh, over. But they're just Ridiculous. celebrating their 60th anniversary. Oh. That's why. Yeah. Um, all right. So we have the raffle. It's closed. Yep. Um, also, if you guys don't know, we're only 10 away. That that marker at the top is wrong. We're at yeah. 40 followers. We we're only 10, 10 more. more followers, and we are affiliate. Um, so if you can, go drop our link to all your friends and tell them to come follow us. Um, if I close out, will I lose my spot in the raffle? I can't hear y'all. Well, if you can't hear us, type it. No, you won't. <laughs> So, um, so let's pick the winner. Who is the winner? Oh, Drew! Yes! Drew! Drew, you won! Nice. Congratulations, Drew. Drew has won. <laughs> you look sad, Johnny. <laughs> Big Drew. I didn't even enter the raffle. I just looked like... This is, Wait, is it this too is late? My Let me, uh, you look so disappointed that Drew won. Yeah. I, I am man. happy for Drew. What's up, Silver just, Snake? I was lost in thought for a second, thinking about no. what, what what is Drew gonna put in his new mug? Is he, is it gonna be iced coffee? Is it gonna be hot coffee? Is it gonna be Kool Aid? Um, I think he's gonna put a watermelon Moscow Mule in there that his yep. wife makes. Hey, yep. Spence, what's Pretty, up? Pretty good. Mm -hmm. That sounds right. amazing, and I still want one. Spence, yeah, Silver Snake have coffee. now joined the stream. Man, should we give away a hat? We have we have quite a few people in here. We, we can, can give, give away, away a hat. hat. 
I know Jenny was one in a hat. Yeah. Right? I think so. Yeah, but what so, design? Yeah. Silver, this is uh, Drinks with the Martins. The Martins talk about technology and current events and things like that. And uh, we laugh about how old Tuner is. So I can go down this field. Um, Actually, we laugh if you're, if you're just about how young us, you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're just now joining us, welcome to the show. We are over our normal limit, but we're having fun. We might keep this going for a little bit. Um, we are Drinks with the Martins. I'm Gary at Tinner's Edge. I'm Tammy at Scooby Snacks. Got Ian at The Real Huzzah. And Johnny I'm at John. Johnny Flash. Johnny the I was Flash. not paying attention. I didn't realize you wanted me to do that. <laughs> yeah, Ian was asleep. I was looking to see if, no, I was looking to see if Schoon was still in here because I was going to see if maybe he had another recipe he wanted to uh, try. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so this is the hat, guys, that we're going to. It's a sweet hat. It's, it's, it's my gaming hat. The logo for the for the drinks of the Martin hat is still uh, in works. Um, yeah, I kicked we'll the, the design. Tuner, tuner, you gotta you gotta wear this hat more often, Gary, because I swear I've never seen Gary actually wear I'm one of these given hats. Giving all of mine away. You you <laughs> always have that hat on. I've never seen you wear this hat. You make a very good point, away. Johnny. So, I've ordered some, and they have shipped. I got the shipping confirmation yesterday. It's mine. So, Likely story. Uh, they are on their way. I ordered three of them, I think. So, they're on their way, um, including the one that Chris the one from the last stream. Right. Okay. So, so, so Silver says he just ordered a. You guys might understand this a little bit better than me. He just ordered a a pie four for his birthday. Mm -hmm. with, what's some amazing stuff he can do with it besides reinstalling retro art and a stick and a terabyte hard drive on it with every retro game in existence. So he's asking, what can he do with a Pi 4? So or it's a Raspberry everything. Pi. It's PI. Um, PII. It is a great tool. I have a box of them. Um, and they're basically. We should give one away. Hey, thanks for following us, man. <laughs> I mean, here. Uh, thanks yeah, for the yo, follow. We're trying to get a. Uh, we're trying to get Tuner and the wife up to. Uh, what is it? Twenty followers. More follows. What? Silver Snake dropped the Nine more, uh, right? Hey, these guys are my friends, so I'm coming more, through. Guys. Just you are coming through, Johnny. I'm, I'm coming through. through. I got them connections. I mean, Sarkonos has to come through now. The communication the show. has the connections. <laughs> you are looking for your Raspberry Pis, Tuner. I am looking for Raspberry You know how much crap he has in this office? I mean, <laughs> I'm just seeing drawers and drawers and drawers. drawers. We'll be here all night. No, no. I, do have, I could give these away. What are those? They're uh. Oh, those cherry are key caps. Are... Okay. Cherry key caps for. Um, they look like punch downs. They are not punch downs. Um. Anyways, I literally just had it the other day. I was looking at it. Oh, what did I do with it? Is this it? Is it this over here? I'm just messing with no, you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you have so much crap on your desk, too. I, know. I mean, see, look, I have a, uh, a Raspberry Pi kit. Yep. I don't know if nice. you can see it, if it's too bright or what, but um, it. Uh, this is a seven-inch LCD screen kit that I made a. I made a. I bought this to make a Raspberry Pi iPad, basically. And yeah. those are so expensive. I had to drop the equivalent of one thirty bucks just to get it to ship over here. <laughs> Dang, snake! You drop. There, it reminds Damn. me. Stick. I dropped a hundred bucks. I dropped a hundred bucks on my fight stick and never used it. Dang, I so need we to should give one away. We need to give a Raspberry I mean, Pi away. To... I'll enter in it's, that round. You know why he uh, he had to pay that much for him, right? Because when they came out in the U.S., they sold out in like two hours. Mm -hmm. uh, and surprisingly, we have four. Yeah. And I'm right here in the border, South Cali. <laughs> you could just go to Mexico and get one. Um, they will probably be hacked, Raspberry fakes. Um, oh, you never know. Yeah. Um, all right, let me start this giveaway. So we are going to test something with this. Um, all right. Um, Drew, did you get that link? Cool. I think you got the link. If not, I'll send it to you. Uh, it's right here on the top. Yeah. So, Drew, make sure you click on that link. That way you can uh, redeem your mug. Yep. They'll go ahead and ship it to you and everything. Awesome. Are you serious? What? So Joe Bob just said the stream title says Monday. 
Yeah, probably because you didn't change it. I updated it. It does, in fact, say Monday. Now it says episode 7. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I didn't hit done. He uh, didn't so hit done. done, and so it never updated. Uh, Twitter, you're bad. <laughs> He's amazing at this stuff. Amazing. Oh, my gosh. You are just Actually, the best. Um, there, there was a chart that I was looking at. Apparently, like, There's a chart of like how far your experience is like, compared to how confident you are. And it's like a study that was conducted that says, like, the mo- like if you're on the absolute maximum level of confidence, you know the least. And then it, like, kind of swoops down as you get more experience, like, your confidence swoops down. And then by the time you're an expert, your confidence goes back up to, like, somewhere at, like, 75% at the maximum <laughs> out of it. So. All right. Um, so I just. Uh, game to Phil's ass, what started, a raspberry pie. Yep. I just started the raffle for the gaming hat. This is different. So you can raffle up to 50 tickets of your loyalty points. So if you have a lot of tickets, you can join a lot more times. Yep. Um, a Raspberry Pi is basically a small PC. Um, that's what I was looking for. I wanted to show it to you. It's literally like this big. Um, it's in a case. It's attached to a power supply. And so is everything else in this office is oh attached to a gosh. power Hold supply. On. Tuner trying to sort through his crap. Oh my god. You we, even... we Essentially, it's a, it's a programmable uh, I was just chip that you can do all sorts of crazy things with. And you can, I mean... I mean, ours had tons of movies. <clears throat> we had actually put a lot of movies on our Raspberry Pi, and we were using that to watch TV and, sometimes. And, and so those, those, those movies were totally totally acquired from us. Uh, totally from legitimate. Totally legitimate. Well, of course they were. We actually have all those <laughs> movies on a Pi. <laughs> <laughs> They're legit. Hey, man. I mean, dude, there's a guy in my barber shop that, you know... Right. Yeah, Silver Snake's got movies. it. Oh my god, he found it. And the remote control that goes with it. Yeah. <clears throat> Check out this remote. So you found a kit, right? Because, I mean, you can... That thing is awesome. So Normally, I... like, a Pi is like a small circuit board with maybe a couple inputs on it, like USB ports or things like that, and then you can program the shit out of it. So yeah. this is my Raspberry Pi for So me. yeah, like, that's a, like, um, a legit kit. It's but awesome. I just bought... No, all I did is I bought the Raspberry Pi. Oh. I bought a case. Um... So the Raspberry okay. Pi. And the cool just thing goes is we have a 3D case. printer so we can actually gonna, make custom cases. Yep. I was gonna ask if he printed that case or not, but then he said he bought it, so I no, he didn't bought bother. that one. This is before yeah. the printer. This is yeah, before the printer. But we are looking to do that. Print some more stuff on the 3D printer. Yeah, I, yeah, I actually uh tuner actually just flashed the inside of it for a second there, I think. And that's kinda what I was thinking about. It looks like the inside so, of a remote control. Yeah, Silver, that's that's pretty accurate. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, you've Took got a couple of inputs case. there. you got a network. You've got network. You've got um, a bunch of USB. Yeah. It's uh, HDMI, sweet. it looks like, on that side. Yeah, HDMI, Ethernet. So, does uh, that USB. thing need to be... Does that thing need to be cooled? In... It doesn't. It doesn't need mm-hmm. to be cooled. Um, you can 100% um, put fans on it. They have cases. I've got a 3D print. A model for a case with fans um, that you can use and then it literally like all it is is that and then it this is the power supply so it's just like it's like, a, it. it's phone like charger. a phone charger yeah um, and it's it's literally the micro USB oh yeah uh, is that B I think mm-hmm. it is no that's micro USB is it? that's just micro oh you just micro, micro. Yeah, yeah yeah that's freaking um, sick silver yeah. I didn't. I forgot. Silver likes to mess around with uh with stuff like this. I really should have recommended the stream to you sooner, Silver. I actually, I'm I'm sorry about that. You could have heard the com. We, you just missed the conversation. Me and Silver are both part of this community that kind of likes a lot of Sega games, and Silver just missed the conversation about us talking about the the mini game gears. I'm sorry. I, I'm uh, sorry. You missed that, Silver. that was also, fun. Also, he probably would have really enjoyed. The laser conversation. Yeah. Um, we do every now and then we do talk about uh, AI. Um, yeah, we do. Our house is like fully automated, mm-hmm. um, so I use some of these to automate our house. Um, I hope it doesn't turn into an episode of Monster House where the house just decides you don't love it enough and decides to lock you in. I mean, you 
<laughs> I mean, I'd be I okay with that, that honestly. Dave. I love my house. The house gets jealous and decides you don't get to go to work today. Awesome. <laughs> I'm turning off the internet. <laughs> what, do you, what do you do? You call into work. Um, I'll just call into work and say I'm locked in my make house. It cause my uh, house won't let me out. Say you're under house arrest by your house. You know the only part that does suck? That we, so we haven't fully automated all of our lights uh, because I haven't figured out how to, um, uh, what's it called? How to make it so the lights will turn off or dim if the power goes out, right? So smart lights, when the power goes out and they come back on, they have to boot back up. Well, when they boot up, they light up. Right. right, and then if they're, if they're scheduled to be off, they turn off. Um, so what'll happen is if you're in the bed at three in the morning, house is dark, power goes out, comes back on, all of your lights turn on, the whole house wakes everybody up. Right. That was good yep. timing. Good timing, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> the all lights. the lights come on and everything turns yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, they say when all uh, the lights come on, the hash slinging slasher comes out to get you. Yeah. Battery back. Um, I am not against giving this away. Um, I don't use it anymore. Um, it's got a Pi controller um, right there. That's the Pi controller. That thing looks like it'd be really... Can you like use a keyboard on it? Yeah, it's, it's got it's a, a keyboard, keyboard on it. It's a keyboard. So no, I mean, like, could you use, like, it. a different key, like a large keyboard? Oh, yeah. You could, okay, yeah you, could. you could take your desktop that you have. So the new Raspberry Pi 4B, you can take your gaming desktop and replace it with that. So That's crazy. It's powerful enough to game on. That's uh, crazy. He's asking, what's that? What's what? I think he was what's asking what? about the controller. Uh, oh, this thing? Oh yeah, I believe that's he was just asking the, about the... Uh, yeah. that's the Raspberry Pi controller I had for um, for this Raspberry Pi, which was used as a media center. So this Raspberry Pi was connected to a NAS, um, and it was a two terabyte hard drive with a bunch of movies on it, and this was hooked up to my TV, and so we would just grab that controller and browse movies and watch movies on it. Dude, you should just give it to somebody with all the movies on it, like the bonus <laughs> deal. I did get this that I need to set up and play with. It's basically a USB PC. It's called a pocket PC. Um, <laughs> I know, right? How much then, did? How much was that, man? This just, I don't a, know. This was so inappropriate. This. And then what's crazy about this is this has. I get Intel it. Get your head out the gutter, Scooby. I get it. Get your head out the gutter. I get where you're at. My head is always in the gutter. Um, I, I get it. I get it. This has a 4.2 uh, Intel processor. You don't play on your phone enough. You gotta have a pocket and a PC. Dual band AC Wi-Fi. Man. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm here on your phone open. at two in the morning. Oh, I'm trying to go to God. sleep. Tudor's I mean, over here. Look at this thing, like, so funny. This is basically uh, an Amazon Fire Stick, right? But it's yeah, it's a dude. PC. That's a that's a thick ass Fire Stick. It's it's a, but it's a game. It's a computer. This is that this is, is a computer. Yeah. No, you can uh, see the crazy. vents in there for uh, for cooling. It's got the USB that. ports. The dude, USB I wouldn't mind having one of those. Power probably. <laughs> yeah, this is. Yeah. Uh, I just, this is I just invite PC. a girl over to watch Netflix with me in my freaking it's apartment legit. when I'm back in school. I'll be like, hey, girl. You want to see my pocket PC? <laughs> <Just look right>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Um, oh, don't open that box. That box has my pocket PC in it. No, nah, I, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the meme, but there's a meme where like there's like there's like a man and a woman laying next to each other in a bed, and the guy's like turned away from her, and like the girl is like the other way, but she's looking towards him, and the meme goes. I bet he's thinking about other girls, and then the guy's just thinking about something else. Like, like I wonder if a five gigabyte processor is enough to like do whatever. Like, I wonder if this processor is enough to run yeah, freaking I've Florida. I've seen that meme before. I've seen the, I've seen that meme used for I feel like many, that's many, many, many different things. I feel like that's Scooby and Tudor. Like Tudor's on his phone, and Scooby's just like, I bet he's no, thinking about. No, no, really, I'm already asleep. Is the yeah. thing Tudor. like I go to bed early because I gotta get up early for work, so. Normally I'm asleep and I like my room to be pitch black. 
I don't like Tuner's any actually lights. searching for the newest edition of the Raspberry Pi that yeah. he's going to waste money on and Scooby's going to yeah. get mad at him about. Dude, I have email notifications from the company that creates them. Yeah, he's already on the radar for that. Um, yeah. He Yo. <laughs> this All right, is I... wild. Hold on. See if you can share it. <laughs> That's pretty can crazy. I, I need to just figure out how can Wait, I what is this? That looks like a little like mini laptop. Oh, my God. Like a briefcase. It looks like a briefcase. Um, is it one of the kids next door gadgets? The freaking where you pull out a suitcase so, and it's just a whole computer. That's what it looks like. It's um. It's all right. I'm gonna transition. Bro, that's cool. Is hey, dude, that's some CIA type stuff, dude. <laughs> That is pretty cool. It's like in a lunchbox, right? Bro, that's some freaking CIA stuff. It's so small, though. I think it looks like a lunchbox. It's so tiny. How big is it? Like, how, how? what's the actual size of it? 300 bucks. It does, in fact, look like a lunchbox. It might not even be as big as a suitcase. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's about the size of a lunchbox right there. <laughs> Dude, it comes with so much too. For three hundred bucks, it's pr that's probably worth it. Yeah. It has game. It has like NES controllers with it. What the yeah. heck? Uh, S yeah, SNES controllers there, and then you've got. Does it? It looks, it looks like, like it. it does. I mean, you got the IR controller. No, it's included you... in the pictures. I think that definitely all comes yeah. with it. That's freaking it's, worth it. It's got a freaking stylus. It's got a keyboard and mouse. What the crap? Amazon freaking am. It's Amazon choice. Can't hear tuner if you're talking. Bob Smiley. That's cool. That's really cool. Unfortunately, they can hear us. Um, but this is a. This was sent, that was sent to us by uh, Joe Bob. Um, yeah, the audio when we switched over to desktop sharing cut us out. Um, but uh, anyways, like that thing is pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie, it's in chat. Um, speaking of, we have 17 minutes left on the giveaway for the hat. Um, if you guys wanna enter in that giveaway, uh, drop in the exclamation point raffle with the number of tickets, up to 50 tickets you can buy. So what would you do if you bought that? I mean... I mean... I would, would make it, it a it's command to center. Learn code. I, mean, I would make it a rocket command center. Oh, jeez. Because that's what it looks it, like. It kind of... No, it, it, it does kind of look like that. It looks it's like... A you mobile would, rocket command center. Yes. Or it looks like the president would just have that stuff, like, <laughs> under his desk and just slam it on the freaking counter. And then, and then put a button. Just Why would you connect it to your drone? Yeah, I could connect to my drone. Connect it to your drone and see if you can, like, open it up and fly your drone from it, anywhere. I think the funniest thing ever would be if you ordered one of these and you open it and it's just a big-ass red button on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a big-ass red button. Now, if, if you got that, do you press like... it? Do you press yes. the big red button? I, mean, I feel like you're obligated yes. to you're press obligated. it at that you point. To. You paid uh, $300 for it. so I'd hey. probably go to jail because I try to recreate the uh, the drones in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. You mean no. the ones that shoot people? You mean the ones that shoot people? <laughs> the ones that blow up. <laughs> oh. oh, you mean the freaking ones the from ones Black that... Ops 2, the RCX? No, the Modern Warfare one where you can go and blow up helicopters with them. Oh, oh, okay, I know it's what you're saying. It's basically a bomb. You yeah, just crash into the helicopter yeah, you crash and it blows everything up. And blows it up. <laughs> yeah, it's just basically a bomb. So, uh, Jenny, type in exclamation raffle and then a number between 1 and 50 on how many tickets you have available. So it's, it's your shots, right? So, however many shots you have, uh, you can uh, choose to purchase them. Or not purchase them, um, use them, your loyalty points. You guys, I don't know if you guys know too, you can also click on the little icon on our uh, stream and uh, purchase things like uh, Truth or Dare, yep. uh, different things inside Random that. questions. Yeah, random questions. Um, I don't remember what else we put in there. We put a bunch of stuff in there, guys. 
Still waiting uh, for Scoon to give us another uh, alcoholic beverage recipe. Yeah, so we're doing that tonight, right? We have, um, how much time do we have? We have 15 minutes. We need a recipe, Scoon. Find or us a we, recipe. Or me and Ian could just sit here for the next 15 minutes trying to freaking indoctrinate Tuner into playing Smite. There you go. Not gonna happen. So, um, <laughs> not gonna um, happen. What about Pokemon Sword and Shield expansion, Isles of Armor? releases on um, uh, June 17th. So, let me tell you how I feel about Pokemon Sword and Shield, all right? Let me let me tell you how I feel let's about hear, it. Let's somebody hear. somebody who played who paid $60 for the game. My my parents do not like Pokemon, so I haven't played it since I've been home from college cuz they're just <laughs> they're really skeptical of that junk. And I I you know, they have their rules, but as somebody who has like oh probably over a hundred hours in the game, who paid sixty bucks for the game, it's my first Pokemon game since like Gen Four when I stopped playing the series. No, just no. I don't think the Game Freak deserves to. I don't think they deserve a second chance after pretty much screwing over all of their all of their customers and all the people who have supported this series for so long and making a lot of people so very unhappy. The, the game was released in a state that is just inexcusable. Like, it has garbage online, like, applications, which you would expect from Nintendo anyways, but that doesn't excuse the fact that trading with people, battling with people, and things like that, people you want to, is way harder than it really needs to be. There's no incorporation of, you know, friends into it or anything. The dex cut is one thing. It's really controversial, but, like, the, the problem with the dex cut is that Game Freak, the developers directly lied to the consumer base about the reason that they cut the decks. The main reason that they gave for cutting a bunch of Pokemon out of the game was that they said, oh, we have to revamp all these models. We have to do all this work. But then the game comes out and it, it doesn't look good. Like if you go into the wild area, it's empty. There's really nothing there. The game is severely lacking in content. The Pokemon don't look any better than they did in the freaking in Sun and Moon for the freaking DS. And actually, there are people that went into the rigs, like the 3D rigs for all the Pokemon in the game. There were graphic designers and things that did that. There are, there's no difference in most of the models right. in terms of the number of tries that they contain and all those like types of things for the models. So Game Freak directly lied, and they're they're releasing this. You know, the, it, it subscribes to the whole games as a service thing. Like, we're going to release this for 60 bucks and then sell you the rest of the game later. And I'm just not behind it, man. Because right. they, they messed up so bad on just making the game, justifying buying this game for 60 bucks when all the other games were 40 and had way more content, in my opinion. Have any of you played it? Have any of you guys? You know, I, I haven't. And uh, mainly because I saw the, the the game and I saw that the the Pokemon on it were literally a sword and a shield and those were the Pokemon. I'm like, man, they've Actually, really just they've really just fucking the lost. The funny thing about that, the funny thing about that is that uh, they those those aren't new Pokemon. Those, those are Pokemon that existed in the in the prior generation. Which is why I have not played Pokemon in a long time. And I saw that and I was like, you know what? They they really just are. It's like Stephen King at this point, just grasping at straws for for a scary novel. And that's they're, what Pokemon is to me. And they're they, like, let's they let's take this kind of this controller and we'll make it a Pokemon. Now we'll just put some eyes there and then put a little face there. And, and there you go. And I'm just kind of like. Mm, eh. Do you guys know about the Galarian forms and, like, the Alolan forms of Pokemon and all that junk? Well, there's Disney. apparently the Gigante... Gigant. Oh, no, the, oh, no. No, 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 no. Max no. Please, forms? please don't. No, I will do it. I will go on a rant. I will do that for the next... Gigantamax? 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 No, 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 no. <laughs> Gigantamax <laughs> does not exist. We don't talk about it. It does not exist. So tell us about the Gigantamax. That mechanic single-handedly just... <laughs> Oh, it's like Exodia in Yu-Gi-Oh, dude. It's so busted. Oh my god. <laughs> well, no. so here's the so thing. The last Pokemon, uh, the ma <laughs> the last Pokemon game I played was the one that came out on 3DS. Uh, I think it was um, Sun and Moon, or I don't remember which one it was. But I think I don't know if it introduced into the series the uh, the super evolutions 
or the you mega know, evolutions. That mega was evolutions. Gen, that yeah. was Gen six. It was Gen Y and X. So y and X. Y and X. Okay. X and y. Yeah. okay. So X, y. I mean, I found that literally every fight, whether it was necessary or not, I'd be like, okay, Lucario. Super evolve, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then one shot that thing, and I'm like, cool. This game is dumb. There's I've literally a, no point to play anymore. I've done a lot of research. Okay, Pokemon casually has kind of been a joke for like the last three gens. Like the games are super easy, but from a competitive standpoint, like when you do the research from the competitive perspective, um, Mega Evolutions were both a good thing and a bad thing. Because, yes, they brought forth some kind of busted Pokemon that you had to play around. And it got really annoying because pretty much, like, you, there were certain ones that were just way too strong. Like, for instance, Mega Rayquaza got banned immediately to freaking Ubers. And arguably should have been banned in Ubers because it's literally the best Pokemon to ever exist of all time. Like, Mega Rayquaza is absolutely disgusting and should not exist. But then you get like things like um, like Mega Venusaur and things like that, who kind of like revitalized old Pokemon that hadn't been used in the meta for like years. So Mega Evolution is kind of a double-edged sword. Where yeah, it brought forth some really annoying things that you had to play around, but it also kind of brought some Pokemon into relevance that hadn't seen use in like decades. So it it it's weird. But the reason that Gigantamax is so horrible is because the mechanic is so brain dead and so counterproductive to, to kind of the game because it's just like okay like the way gigantamax works is that it just gives you moves that instantly hit hard without any investment like normally if you want a pokemon to hit the other team hard as balls you have to equip a choice ban or something like that which only right. lets you you know use one move until you switch out or you have to like take some sort of risk in order to do it. Gigantamax just takes that whole thing away and just says like, oh, well, I can just Gigantamax on the next freaking turn and then one shot you. And now I have like freaking terrain control that my Pokemon might not even normally a have access to by making it rain after a Max Geyser or something like that. I just have this 150 base power move I can just slap you with at any given time. It's it's not. It, it it's not like it's not really you don't take any risks by just using it and mega evolution was one thing but this you have to account for it on every single pokemon in the whole game at least with mega evolution you can kind of play around that because only certain pokemon had me mega evolutions but with this you have to not only be worried about every pokemon in the game they're already normal move spreads but you have to be worried about whatever max moves they might have and how that might affect you. So Gigantamax is just kind of toxic for the game because you can be winning and then they have the ability for this freaking comeback mechanic where they get three turns where they could very possibly like <laughs> just sweep <laughs> like half your team <laughs> or set up in your face where you can't really do anything about it. Because the thing is, even though it doesn't increase like your defense in most cases, it doesn't really increase your stats. It just gives your moves more power. It gives you more health. One shotting a G Max Pokemon, I don't, like. I can't. I have. I don't have enough experience to say like it's impossible or anything. But one shotting a G Max Pokemon is like significantly, like more hit or miss than just playing around a normal tank or playing around like a normal thing. So that's kind of how G-Max is. Gigantamax is a really toxic mechanic, and most people in the competitive scene really hate it. I didn't know there was a legitimate competitive scene for Pokemon. There so. is a very large legitimate... Oh, no, there, so there is a huge... Let me tell you something. There are tiers of Pokemon that are, like, agreed upon, like, by the like the jurisdiction that does the tournament. There, It's called <clears throat> Smogon. You <clears throat> have... The lowest form is untiered, which is Pokemon that are so bad that they don't really see competitive use at all. Then there's Little Cup, which is where they put like non-fully evolved Pokemon and people battle with them specifically. Then there's PU, which is PU, like this Pokemon's bad. <laughs> and there's a cup for that. <laughs> there's NU, oh, no. which is never used. It's based on usage rates, basically. Like, how much the Pokemon get, gets used in competitive kind of determines where it gets tiered. Also, its overall strength in the meta gets determined where it gets tiered. It's a combination of those two things. There's NU, which is never used. Then there's RU, which is rarely used. 
There's, um, then there's OU, which is overused, which is where you get like the ba- the main like w- that's where the main like strong Pokemon go. Like the you know the good strong Pokemon. I do believe most people play within the OU tier game, and then you get so... um, UU, not UU. UU is underused, which is Excuse after me one second, Johnny. Um, we have five minutes left on the raffle for the hat, guys. Enter if you want to win that hat. It's pretty dope. Um, the way it'll work is basically you enter. Um, I will purchase the hat and send it to you. Um, maybe with some other cool stuff. So, exclamation raffle space the number of tickets you want to raffle. Up to 50. One in 50. So, Man, no, Silver, definitely I'm getting PTSD. No, like, I'm sorry, but the, the new Pokemon mechanics definitely do give me PTSD. Like, Scoon drop in 50 tickets on that. Uh, oh, no. man. It just got serious, guys. Bro, Scoon's really trying to win this. Scoon said, <laughs> I'm winning something very soon. Scoon oh, there's Scoon. The recipe. Yeah. There's yeah. Scoon. Scoon, they Come want on, a recipe. Scoon, where's another sweet, uh, sweet recipe, recipe for a drink that I can I go know. make? He disappeared for a little while, didn't he? Um, oh, Davis. Davis, you guys should. You guys Davis should try have classes. 50 tickets. Did you have 50 tickets, dude? I don't know. Um, just so you guys know, I don't know that it works for Davis, because you have to raffle the amount of points you have available. Are, are we allowed to? Ra- are we allowed to raffle as people at the Steam? Do I win one of these? Go uh, for it. Yeah, go you raffle. <laughs> go for it. Um. Um, you tell me I don't have All 69 right. tickets. Nailed it. Um, Johnny, you are not allowed to have Revel now. Um, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me, I'm trying to see how many tickets you have, Nathan. Um, let me find you. Noon says he doesn't have a drink for tonight. No drink, dude? Well, damn. I had one in mind. So you get tickets by watching our stream. Um... So I'm trying to see how many but, uh, tickets you have. Eat, eat. How much do you guys know about the the Isle of Armor expansion and all that stuff? I don't know much Zero. about it. I know about I have X, good following. XYZ and then what is the other one that the kids play? XY and XYZ. Yeah. Sword and Sword and Shield stuff. is the is the expansion that this or the Sword and Shield is the game that this expansion is for. Davis, so it's the new you have eight. Davis you have eight. <laughs> Exclamation <laughs> raffle space 50. eight. He tries to um, bet. But the only guy is... One entered with one ticket. It's on the bottom of the list, the one ticket. There you go, Scoon. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. The OG 151. G- Gary, you missed my speech about the history of competitive Pokemon. I did. Um, we didn't even I, get I, to I the chapter on Tyranitar. Um, what'd you say? OG 151? Yeah, because, I mean, Mewtwo was 150, but you had Mew as well. Mm. Mewtwo is busted. Or, well, it was busted. I don't I don't really know how good it is in Sword and Shield. So, Davis has raffled four of his tickets. Uh, Juan's probably got like 100 tickets, dude. He's always in here. How many tickets does Juan have? Now I'm like, now I'm like trolling through people's tickets, dude. I probably shouldn't be doing this, but I am. Do you guys ever do this? No. No. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I can't even see my own tickets. I don't know. Um, it's actually kind of crazy. There's, I didn't realize there's so many viewers. Juan's got 55 tickets. Available. Um, dude, honestly, I haven't played any Pokemon since I was young. So. Uh, um, how young is young, Tuner? Like ten years ago. Um, okay. Okay. Well, so, the the way that the Isles of Armor, from what I've seen, is gonna work is they're releasing a. I can't remember if they're they're releasing two expansions, and one of them is the Isles of Armor, which is coming up like this month, I think, and the other one is the Tundra, which is coming up later. Yeah. And I I've heard pretty mixed opinions about it, but the general consensus. Or like from like I talked to a buddy about Pokemon a good bit, and he's a Pokemon veteran, used to play compet and all that competitive, and he doesn't like it. 
he does not like the new mythical that they're adding for the expansion and things like that. He thinks the mythical is kind of uninspired. Yeah. And there's basically it's a Pokemon that has like two different stances and it's called Cub Chew. And based on how you raise it depends on like what like what style, like what fighting style it uses. And it can either end up as a dark fighting type or a water fighting type. And the problem with it is that the only difference between the water type and the dark type that we can see so far is the move, like a single signature move that it has access to. And there's almost no reason to go with the dark type one as far as we know yet because all it gets is this move called Darkest Lariat. And Darkest Lariat is a move that isn't even his signature move. Incineroar already has that move. It's Incineroar's signature move. So it, it just kind of seems like Game Freak is getting real lazy on this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Oh my gosh. So, what's up? I didn't realize the timer was over on that hat. Oh. <laughs> it just ended. So, no more entries. We got a lot of tickets. Uh, we had 93 tickets. Um... Scoon doesn't think he's gonna win. I think my boy is gonna win. My boy Spencer is gonna win. I don't know if he's still here, but I believe in him. Yeah. Um, let's let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna pick the winner. You guys ready? I need drum roll. You got a drum roll audio? Uh, no, I've got the uh, DJ air horn, so I can uh hit All right, that. You can pop it. All right, ready? Oh wait, let's wait. I want I want Scooby Snacks to be here. Um. All right, man, we are at 42 followers. We need eight more followers, and we will be partnered. Can you guys believe it? I can. Affiliate. Affiliate. We're, I'm sorry. Affiliate. We're very um, entertaining people. I believe it. How many tickets did you say? We have 93 tickets entered, is what it says. Is that right? Is that wrong? We have 93 tickets really? entered. My hair was getting out of control. We're ready to make this raffle. I couldn't hold my hair down anymore. Hey, I feel you. <laughs> I feel you, Scooby. Control, so I, put a hat on. I feel you, Scooby. I have to take this bad boy and just... <laughs> Scoot said I have If 50... I try to do that to my hair, it'll get stuck and then I can't get it out. <laughs> Scoot says I have 50, 93 tickets and he thinks he's still going to lose. You know what? If you lose, Scoot, we'll send you a care package. <laughs> Mission well, failed. We'll suck, get him next Scoot. time. <laughs> There you go. Mission failed. We'll get him Good next luck. time. Good luck. You'll win next time. All right. Ready? Three, two, if one. If he loses, I'm going to be mad. Oh, my oh, God, dude. Yes, you win. What did I tell you? <laughs> what did I tell you? Scooby's going to just bounce. I'm going to send you what a care yeah. package. Hell Scoob. yeah. So Scoon gets a care package. Don't so worry. So we got two got winners you. in this one, guys. Scoon gets a care package. Um, I'm the game to Phyllis. That's that's my so boy. Spen to I told y'all. I said it. With the, I said it. I was like, my boy is gonna win. I said Coming it. Coming in oh. with the last minute. Uh, it's one rigged. ticket entry. <laughs> it's so rigged. I spoke it into existence, bro. <laughs> he I entered one it. ticket, guys. Um, one ticket. Scoot dropped fifty. Uh, one and that just shows that the little guy like, can win sometimes. Man. True. Johnny I did it. In fact, Charlie, I Johnny was like, went, Johnny went Johnny went hawk. He went and hacked the bot before we do the draw. Yeah. All right, Johnny. Here's the thing. I'm gonna go buy a lottery ticket, and before they do the numbers on Wednesday, you have to say that I'm going to win. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's do it. Is it or that. I never um, win. Yeah. Rig Wait. Rig so rig. this meant whether he win the hat. Scoon screwed himself. He made it a 99% chance he was going to win. <laughs> That's... That's funny. That's so unfair. But yeah, so... Game to Phyllis. Uh, jump in our Discord. Um, send me a DM. And I will get your info from you to get that hat sent to you. So, cool. Cool. Um, congrats on the hat, man. Yeah, congrats to my boy. Hey, Spencer, next time we hang out, you gotta wear that bad boy. <laughs> you gotta wear that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Murphy's Law dictates you never bet on the 99% chance because it's, it's going to fail. fail. If it can so, go wrong, it will. It will. Mm -hmm. you, come on, guys. You only bet on 1% chances. <laughs> Is, that only, Is that how it you works? You only you bet, bet on, on the 1% chances. Chance. So you're telling me you'll bet your life savings on a 1% chance of winning? Heck yeah, I can make some more. I can I can live another <laughs> lifetime and make some more. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I can't so take here's a, I can't here's even the take key it with to it me. though. Is you only bet on the one percent of chance that you're winning if the odds are super high if you do win. May the odds always be in your favor. If the odds are super low and there's a one percent chance of winning, like not the odds in like you winning, but in like the payback, then it's not worth it. Right? I yeah. don't win shit. If I go, hey, if you bet a million bucks to win a hundred thousand, you have one percent of the chance of winning that hundred thousand. This is why I don't that? play the lottery because I never win anything anyway. <laughs> there you go. Oh Pretty man. Nice. Um, the only thing that I do ask of you, uh, Game Fellas, is when you do get that hat in the mail, please tweet it out, tag us, and uh, share it on social media, so we can share it with the rest of the world that you are amazing and have won this drawing. So, um, cool. You guys got Murphy was an asshole. What are you guys gonna call like your viewers for this stream? Are you gonna call them the Martinis? I feel like we have there to. There you go. We should call them. Um, the Martinis. I don't know. Should you should call the viewers the Martinis. The Martinis. The Martinis. Um, huh. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if everybody would like that. What, what do you guys Murphy think? was an a-hole, but he didn't think? deserve to become Robocop. Just, oh, there we go. We'll just call him just the drunks. Just drunks. Come hang out with drunks. <laughs> just the drunks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not even drinking alcohol right now. I'm drinking no. water. I'm drinking uh, G Fuel. G Fuel. I've been so, drinking like the residue from yet. this Coke. <laughs> we're definitely not sponsored. Oh, no affiliate. G Fuel. No, no affiliation with them. Yeah, there's a Discord link uh, in chat, and Phyllis. I don't know if you're already in our Discord. I live on G Fuel. I live on Kool Aid and Juicy Juice. Juicy Juice. Oh juicy my gosh, juice. bro, it's good juice, bro. Like, I gotta, I gotta get my vitamins. You know, I'm, is I'm a going man. Is it even really juice? Yeah, it actually, it actually yeah, it is. is. It's like a mixture of juices, but it is really juice. There's no like high fructose corn syrup in it or some dumb <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> I have I read the. Game I read ingredient Man, list. I would hope that yeah. the juice does not have high fructose corn syrup in it. Did you find a drink to make? See, Spencer, Box you food. know, Spencer, Spencer, Game to Phil's know. Where the like, drinks? we call it drink. If it has high fructose corn syrup in it, we call it drink, not juice. It's orange drink, not orange juice. <laughs> it's orange <laughs> drink. Different. It's orange drink. If it's not drink, real drink, 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 drink. drink. There drink. you go. You're in Houston. We say drink. Drink. Oh, yeah. Have you ever had a cinnamon maple? No, how about sour? a whiskey smash? <laughs> Becky, let me smash. One. A whiskey smash. Um, that's three lemon wedges, mint leaves. Do you have mint, mint That sounds leaves? like a sexual innuendo for something. Um, simple syrup and two ounces of bourbon. Where a... where are you seeing this? Because I need to read it. Liquor.com. I will send you the recipe, oh. my friend. No, I well, I know <laughs> I don't have the uh, mint, and I know I don't have the lemon wedges right now. Listen, Mr. Fizzle, I said I was going to make a bee's knees. That's what I had. A, a bee's, bee's knees. knees. Okay, yeah. let's make that. What all right, well, it's it? all about a bee's It's a gin drink. It has a honey simple syrup, okay. uh, gin, lemon juice, and I think that's it. I don't know. It's in uh, it's in a book I have downstairs. So I'll go grab all the ingredients and double check it against the book. So okay. we're gonna do drinks with the real huzzah. Drinks yeah. With the real huzzah. This is a little second. So I'll be back. Alrighty. So let's see. You can learn how to be alcoholics. Oh man. Oh Jesus. It's gonna get crazy. <laughs> get a new drink Sometimes every week. I, I feel obligated to have at least something to drink every time I'm on this stream, so I just bring a freaking like I'm literally drinking the residue from this Chick Fil A I had for dinner. Residue? Second, second. Just go get some fresh Can soda. Can I draw another winner? It's Coke residue. Can I draw two winners? 
I still have the pick winner thing. I actually don't drink a ton of soda. I only drink soda when I go out to eat. And whenever I'm like in a oh position where I'm looking for myself, I don't go out to eat much. I drew two winners, guys. And Davis just won. <laughs> okay, we'll get more hats. It's fine. Woo! And Scoob still hasn't won. Scoob still didn't win. <laughs> you picked That's two Scoob. winners and Scoob it, still didn't win. Is it just a meme? Is it a meme that Scoob just doesn't win? Math is stupid. <laughs> 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 that is awesome. I what picked two hell? winners. I was really hoping Scoot was going to win it. Uh, um, Silver Snake asked, did we discuss the Bloodborne PC rumors? What PC rumors? I didn't hear anything about that. Yeah. Uh, Silver, what's up with that? Could you link, like, an article or something? Is it is it okay if he does that, I guess? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's fine. Scoot would have to grant him uh, permissions to link, I think. Link an article if you want to... Talk about it real quick. He could also Discord it to us. Or he can, yeah, Discord it to us. Of course. Yeah. How do you honestly it allow? Allow what? I don't remember how to do it, Scoon. To allow a user to link an article. Um, mm, I don't know. Man, we don't have VIP statuses yet either. We need to get some people chatting in chat. If you are in chat. Just I'm trying to get that on my on my Twitch channel, dude. I can't even get like above five viewers. I literally, te <laughs> I like text all my friends like, guys, go watch my stream. We have oh. the chat one, don't we? The accomplishment. We chatty chat. No, we don't have. Uh... Oh, we do. We don't have the followers. We need fifty. That's followers. all we need is the That's followers. We yeah, yeah right. we have the chatty one. We do have the VIP chat. Our followers like to talk a lot we in need... chat. Yeah, we need the 50 followers. Uh, We're sitting here at look, 42. Our I'm followers like the type of lot chat looks at me. Yeah. <laughs> looks at me. <laughs> um, math is just ridiculous. I math is, in fact, stupid. Win, I can't believe he didn't win. Um, All right, bet, Spence. Actually, Spence, um, yeah, I'll tell you next time I'm streaming, Spence. I'm thinking about doing an art stream. So at some time. Is... Um... A permit. That works. Maybe, maybe not. What are y'all doing up? See the kids walking downstairs. Yeah. All right, oh, so I don't see anything about this online. I was looking for the blood, blood form PC. But on this, uh, oh, I think uh, I think silver. Oh, there it oh. is. Bloodborne PC rumors intensify following more teases from insiders. Mm. So they're thinking. Oh yeah, that's PC. right. Bloodborne's not on PC. I forget about that. Isn't a PS4 exclusive at the moment? It is actually a PS4 exclusive. It's yeah, that's I remember on that. PC supposedly. Well, there it's a rumor that it's being released on PC after PC version showed up on Amazon France. Oh, oh. shoot! It's another store leak. It's another one of the yeah. store. Yeah, and then dude, Sony yeah. stated that it was that the listing was inaccurate. I don't know about that. I, I don't know about that. I, mean, I think somebody's not? getting fired. Somebody's <laughs> getting fired. <laughs> Did you see the Destiny link leak too? God. What man. happened with Destiny? They what leaked out that reveal trailer like two days early, oh, and then shit. deleted it. Well, I learned real quick. If you delete something off Instagram, it's not deleted. It's not deleted. You it's can retrieve deleted. it. Um, How do you somebody, retrieve it? So basically, uh, uh, Destiny tweet or. Instagram posted it, a video, the mm -hmm. release video that they just posted. Um, and then somebody on Twitter got the link and copied the link and shared it on Twitter from Instagram. Okay. And so it had like 150,000 views, but it was not on Destiny's profile anywhere. It's wild. That's crazy. Dude, the internet's so, like... The internet is really weird because it's like, bro, no one, you can never completely control like what happens on the internet. It just, right. the, the, the amount, amount of, of people that just affect everything. It's and wild, then, dude. Like, it, like, causes it causes a chain, chain of events event that you, that you just, just can't, can't stop. stop. <laughs> it's 
No, it's... Johnny, you're echoing really bad. And yeah, now so I are am you. too. Uh oh. What did you do? Tuner, what did what you What did you do, do Tuner? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They don't hear the echo now. Thank you, Scoon. Oh, yeah, Scoon. Can you hear all of us, though? Dang. Got all right. So y'all ready for a bee's knees? You can't see my face. There it is. I'm here. It's still me. Um... Uh-oh. All right. I'm not even gonna try it. We're just gonna do small screen. We have to watch his little screen. Why? I was gonna try and like blow his screen up, but we just need a Oh, out. I know what you're gonna. Okay, I got you. Yeah. The audio went away. That's what killed it. Okay. I can sit. Let me. Hear All right. Me. There we go. I know. There we go. You need to like build a little table in front of you. Uncle yeah, uh, going to teach us about alcoholism. All right, so first of all, we've got we're going to use a citadel for the gin here. We're going to make a bee's knees. So I've also got some homemade uh, honey simple syrup. So it's basically just honey and water boiled down. Um, and we're going to go ahead and make a bee's knees. It's super tasty. Uh, so lost a cap. So it's a shot and a half, or one and a, a half ounces of gin. Yoink. Does it matter what kind of gin you use, or is it just anything you have? Um, anything you have. I really like Citadel. It's super tasty. Okay. Uh, it's um, kind of more botanical in flavor. It's not super peppery uh, like some gins. Uh, it's got, it's just got a really good flavor. I drink it straight and I usually am not a gin person. So, um, that's my choice there. Um, it's just a really good gin. Let's see here. Then we're going to go ahead and do a three quarter ounces of, uh, honey sipple. Alrighty, and then three quarter ounces of lemon juice. And typically you want to use fresh lemon juice, but uh, I don't have any lemons right now, so we're going to use just some Concentrate. bottled lemon juice. When life doesn't give you lemons, make right? use bottled yeah. lemon juice. Use concentrate. Concentrate for days. <laughs> there we go. Hey, last one. the lemon juice. All right. And then we're going to give it a good shake. Break your teeth. <laughs> you break your teeth, Tudor. Don't spill it all over yourself this time. Yeah, that was pretty funny. We can just After cut this says, out. Oh, this is quality way, content. We can it. just cut this out and make a YouTube video Mike's out of it. Mike's this. He's just, um, <laughs> to whatever Ian's channel is. Shaking stuff all up right. You can strain it into PC. a coupe glass. Uh, into what? A coupe. A coupe? Like a chicken coupe? Yeah. Is it a certain type no, of glass? No, a coupe is in a two-door car. It's like a pine glass or a, <laughs> a rocks glass. A coupe, coupe's glass is a oh. different type of glass. So He's a, got it's that a two-door car. sports car. Sounds good. Ooh, that looks good. And there you go. I like That's the color That's called a bee's knees. It's yeah. a good color to it. and uh, No bees were harmed in the making of this drink. We did not take any bee kneecaps and put them in there. That was not on the ingredients list. That is super tasty. I I mean, yes. I'm not like a huge gin person, but that is a super tasty drink. So I got to look into getting Citadel so, gin. There you go. Nice, dude. Citadel what? gin. Citadel gin? Yeah, because the, the gin. gin that my dad has is very like peppery. It's very spicy, and I don't like it. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I – it. I'm a bourbon guy. I didn't like gin until I tried. Um, it's the antique gin from Treaty Oak, which is actually it's got more 
more bourbon notes to it than anything else. And then I started to get into other gins, and Citadel was one that I really liked because it's more botanical. I'm not a fan of those really peppery uh, gins that make your mouth feel more dry than it would right. have if you hadn't had anything to drink. So I'm the same way with wine. I don't like a really dry, peppery In wine. Snake said instructions are unclear. Drink stuck on wasp. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, you know, you're just gonna have to deal with a couple stings and get that get that drink back from the wasp. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, are we gonna make Steven a drink said, based off Steven wasp's said you need nest? To make it a drink. You need to make a drink and call it the murder's hornet. The murder hornet. <laughs> the murder hornet. So I'm in this, uh, this uh, bourbon group on Facebook and I had a recipe for an awesome white Russian, which I might have to do next time. Uh, and I posted it in there, and this okay. guy who's like, I've been a bartender for 15 years, that's not a white Russian, you can't go making drinks and calling them one thing when there's something else. I'm oh my I, gosh. And he's like, I hated it when people would come to my bar and tell me how to make a drink, and I'm just like, bro, calm down, you know, this is like a famous bartender in New York that wrote this recipe and put it in this book, so I'm, I'm willing to bet that he's got more experience than you do, so. Right. <laughs> are, are you published? Are you published? <laughs> was he, uh, was I mean, he, all, was, a was it like an old guy? Was it like a, like a, you, you kind of made him sound like he was a pirate or some sort, of, like he, like he's been No, that's just my, God, my sarcastic voice for people that I think are dumb and being just Ooh. dicks. Unre unreasonable? Yo. Unreasonable, yeah. We just got a new follower. Thank you for following us, Seymour. Oh, shit. You guys finish it off. Seymour. Butts. There you go. Oh, hey, so, <laughs> Silver, you practicing Leo in Tekken? Nice. Dude, Silver, I'm not gonna lie. I'm so sorry for not playing Tekken with y'all lately. It's just, Yo, man, I really... Have you guys done the Tekken, Tekken tournaments? Do you understand oh. how huge the Tekken tournaments are in Houston? And in oh, the no, state of Texas? Okay, listen, 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 yeah. listen. In I mean, the I words they, in the they, words of they, one of my favorite one of my favorite people ever, Mighty Keith, there are a lot of black people in the South that really like Tekken. Mm -hmm. And I could that I could uh, I could attest to that. Yeah. Dude, because the me and, Tekken I, tournaments I do here believe are in insane. Silver. I do Look, every time I hear the word martial law, all I think of is Tekken. It's freaking martial <laughs> law. <laughs> Dude, okay. Yeah. Man. Oh man, I would love to do like a I don't know. It would be it would be really cool to just have like a day where we just talk about video games that we like. We just each do it. Tutor can oh, do it. Tutor can do a section on death. Tutor can just do a section on Destiny, and I can do an entire freaking thing on DOA. I, mean, I like <laughs> Destiny. Um, I love Call of Duty. I play Destiny because more of our friends play Destiny. Um. And then my other friends don't play Call of Duty. Play Do you have Modern Warfare? Uh, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. On PC or you, you probably have it on PC, don't you? PC, it's crossplay though. I, I have, yeah, with, I have it on uh, PS4. I play oh, with actually, uh, JM One in here. He uh, he plays Call of Duty with me sometimes. Drew, me and gaming, who actually won a raffle tonight, plays Call of Duty with me. Yeah, me and DeFils actually both have it on PS4, and we used to play it together a good bit before Minecraft Dungeons came out, and we both kind of just been slaving away at that for like the last week. Oh, did I tell y'all I got my first Platinum Trophy yesterday? <laughs> nice. I got my first Platinum PS4 Trophy without even realizing it, and it was for Minecraft Dungeons. I Platinum oh, Minecraft Dungeons in less than a week. I have a problem. <laughs> I have a problem. Have you played now... on our server at all, by the way? Have I, have I what? On the Tuner's Edge Minecraft server? I, I actually haven't, because I don't think you ever sent me the IP. Did it's you? On our, it's on Discord. It's on, is the, it on the, dis the description of the. Because I haven't, I actually yeah. haven't played Minecraft in quite a while. One of Bryce's, uh, one of Bryce's buddies bought has like a server. Like one of Bryce's roommates, they have like a computer in their apartment that is just a server, and they use that and they run Minecraft mm -hmm. off of that. And I used to play on that, and I haven't so, really been playing much Minecraft lately. So I have a Minecraft server that my kids get on, and they built a full school, a mall. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty bad. It's I think, huge. I, I wanted to wild. say I do think it's really good that you both seem to really encourage your kids to like take productive hobbies and things like that. I think that's a that's a really cool thing to see. Well, they encourage creativity on them. Yeah, and they're yeah they're, they're nerds. nerds. I'll tell you what, Johnny, 
you like Pokemon so much, my six-year-old could probably chat with you for hours about Pokemon. <laughs> she reads books and books about Pokemon. She yeah. knows all the evolutionary traits. Like, she knows so yep. much about Pokemon. She wants a Pokemon for her birthday, which is in July. She wants a Pokemon bed set. Mm-hmm. That I have yet to adorable. find one. Yeah. I have yet to find one because she's got a giant she Pikachu. A, she's got the Pokemon cake? posters in her room. She wanted a Sylveon cake? No. Is it a Sylveon um, cake or Umbreon? Umbreon. Yeah. She wanted yeah. Umbreon. It's, I've always cake. found it interesting out of all the evolutions, a lot of like, you know, younger girls tend to really like Umbreon. And I don't yeah. know why. It's like the dark, it's literally the dark, scary one with the poisonous skin that freaking... Yes, they like it. They like oh, it, they think it's hilarious. Back to another issue with Sword and Shield, even though it says in her dex entry that she has poisonous skin, freaking Umbreon can no longer learn Toxic, which makes no sense. And oh. kind of... It's... It, it, there's a lot of, there's a lot of junk in both. <laughs> oh, and our, our actually, our kids do play fighting games. Both of them play Overwatch. They do play Overwatch. Uh, they don't play like Tekken. What? Yeah. What? Overwatch is a fighting game. Overwatch is definitely not a fighting game. They I would fight definitely not call that funny. a fighting game. <laughs> you Overwatch and I would call play. it a first-person shooter objective. Over Dave. Overwatch is a arena I mean, first-person shooter. Yeah, arena FPS. There you go. Listen, listen, you listen. Don't, you don't hear these kids play when they're trying to shoot each other in the head. So oh, you do have a point. They play a lot of Roblox games that are. Rip Evil. Yeah. Uh, Look, all you have to do is give them a GameCube with Super Smash Bros. Melee and just uh, let them have at it. Actually, no, so do Brawl because Brawl you is even more Night casual. Squad. Night Squad. Yeah. Night Squad's fun. They play Night Squad like crazy. Yeah, they love Night, Night Squad. Squad. It's a never uh, heard of it. Top-down 2D uh, game that's. Uh, um, it's basically like 6v6. They have different things where it's team versus team. They have. Um, so, so King it sounds. Hill. Okay, Snake. Okay. You know what this game sounds minute. pretty similar to? What? what? Smite, Tuner. You should. Uh, you're... Oh, there you go. Yeah, it kind of sounds like Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should try some of that. Thank you, Scoon. Thank listen. you, Scoon. How is Smash not a fighting game? Okay, let like, me tell literally, you. Literally, that's okay, what listen, the game listen, is. Listen. Yeah, okay, Smash what about the game? It's not a Tekken or Silver, a Dead or Silver, Alive. I got you. Silver, I got you. Here, here's why Smash is not a fighting game. Listen, here's why keep Smash. Keep drinking. Keep drinking. It's not a fighting game. <laughs> I'm about to right? get another drink. God dang. I will tell you why Smash ain't a fighting game. Smash is a fighting game from the perspective of there are people that fight. That is it. When you look oh at the mechanics God, of Smash compared to the mechanics of any traditional fighting game, 3D or 2D, Smash does not play by the same rules. Is anything else? Smash is first and foremost a party game that people no. basically re repurposed Wrong. into a fighting game. Wrong. You know, Ian's Wrong. a uh, semi-pro Smash. Dude, player. the strategies in Smash, it, and I'm not. not I'm not a semi-pro. I'm. I am like. I am good among. Sm- I'm good enough to beat all of my friends, and I'm still bad when it comes. But to the fighting. question is, are you good enough to beat me? Because I have Smash. We can go right now. Oh, I'll beat your ass. Oh, oh, let's go. Showdown. Let's go right go. now. But Boot up the PCs. that's not let's the go. point. The point is, Smash has such a nuance to it. Like if you take if you take the time to learn, people literally check, like the frame amount data. of frames it takes yeah frame data for certain for certain attacks and like yeah, but that's you know, every fighting be, game but, yeah but that's the thing is uh, it, yeah thank you it's every fighting game but the isn't thing it? Is, so smash like, is a fighting think game about the smash like the reason i don't see smash as a fighting game is because of the difference between the communities it's not even necessarily the game itself but when you see smash players smash players do not play anything else if you look at anybody who plays fighting games like especially professional players they are all part of the FGC because they play like other fighting games outside of the game. Like you will very seldom find a Street Fighter player who hasn't played King of Fighters, who hasn't played Tekken or anything at some point. No Smash players play anything else. Like it's like they're not like they want to be at Evo and all that, but they stay to their own group. They don't mix in with any of the other fighting game communities. And it's kind of resulted in the rest of the FGC kind of not seeing Smash in that light because Smash players don't really ever try to branch yep. out. But that's fine. But it's still a fighting game. I don't. I don't know, man. I'll. I'll call it. I'll say, 
I don't care if the communities a, like don't it is interact. A platform fighter. It's still it is, a it is fighting a platform game. Fighter. It's uh, it's a fighter. It's absolutely a fighter. I, and they they're just like <laughs> everything to to the game you I mean, think this... you know how to play smash until you watch a pro play or you watch their strategies and you're like Holy i mean crap. i do i i literally watch like i've watched freaking evo clips from freaking left in zero and all those i even watch zero like all the time and he was the best player in like in smash 4 he's not still competitive anymore but still like i understand how competitive smash like works i have buddies like i go to turn tournaments actually smash tournaments with my buddy zach and a couple other people i'm g trying to room with this semester uh, it's just weird because as a person who plays pretty much every I play pretty much every fighting game under the sun it, It's like there. It's just there's something there That is different about smash that it's not that it's lesser. It's just in a different category It's just I can't put it in the same category. Okay, so do you huh. see people playing uh, Injustice at these fighting tournaments? I Actually don't I haven't so seen would it. you call so, injustice so, a fighting game? I mean Yes, because it's got the same. But the community it's, it's literally, it literally works in like mortal. Okay, but that's just because injustice is dead. Like that's different. I think injustice is just funny dead. Shit. So does it count when we take our kids to the arcade and we play Street Fighter and kick their ass? Yes. Yeah. That totally yes. counts. Well then, yeah, we take them to arcades every now and then, like and play old school games. There are arcades where y'all live. I would like we to live. We actually have a yeah. place that is nothing but pinball machines, oh, which are wait, my favorite. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. And uh, arcades. <laughs> he ran out Baby quick. beans? So Do you, you mean beanie Silver babies? Said? Oh, wait. Is that Hold what on. I think it is? So, is that what I think like, it is? This, this is my... I, I recently came into a little bit of extra money. So yeah, your boy yeah. got himself Instead a fight. Instead of the destiny. And, nice. and, and Silver's, and Silver's going to teach me how to use it's blurred it. blurred out. But... Turn your okay. blur off. Turn my blur... Okay, yeah. You're right. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. And so silver is going to be the one helping me learn how to use silver it. Silver said, fun fact, professional means oh, you get boy. paid. Uh, there are people who get paid to check the, that the machine that creates, that creates the, tips the tips of the shoelaces. What the hell is that? Oh, called? yeah, aglets. Those are called aglets, by the way. I know that because of, <laughs> I know that because of fun Phineas. Fun fact, it's called aglets, Gary. It's called an aglet. Did you say because of Phineas and Ferb? Yep, there was an yep. entire song about it. You should look it up. I need to look it up. I love Phineas and Ferb. Okay, um, this is my fight stick. I love bowling amazing. for soup. It is, it is an arcade stick. You know, you got the traditional thing. You got the buttons. You got all these, like, modes right here. Basically, it, it, w when you use it for, like, USB in a computer, it just works directly. But it does this cool thing where, so hook it up to a console, you actually, like, interface it with your PS4 controller, and it basically just tricks your PS4 into thinking that it is the controller by broadcasting through the controller. Fun it's fact, you can cool. get two of those, a Raspberry Pi, some wood, an LCD screen, and build your own arcade box. Yep. Boom. <laughs> just, I just have to use it. Like, I'm the really bad. Recipe. If I try to, like, play, especially, dude, if I tried to play Tekken with this as opposed to my D-pad, I'd freaking just, this, this, I, I'm so bad at using it. But I, I got one because I wanted to play Street Fighter, and I figured it'd be better for Street Fighter and jump like that. But has got a point. He goes, it loves how the seeds of Smash community is even divided with Melee and Ultimate. Oh, no, the Smash. Oh, that's fair. The Smash community can be, like, the most beautiful thing and the most toxic thing at the exact. <laughs> You're like, not wrong. Um, so Snake I mean, said a lot. As a smite player, it, but... oh no! As a smite player, we both know, but we're that still community is toxic as hell. Hey, are you playing a casual people. joust and trying a new god? You're garbage. You're garbage. Oh, You're I'm garbage. I've been that guy before. Kill yourself. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> oh my god. Okay, but no, like legit. I play a lot of conquest, and when you get. Listen, when you get that person that thinks their T1 tower 20 minutes in is worth more than securing a fire giant that can help you win the entire game, it gets to you. Because they'll be the ADC and you need their head to, to burn the fire giant and they what? don't go on fire giant because they're still trying to protect that tier 1 tower. What do you mean the ADC is necessary for taking out the fire giant? I don't know. Maybe the DPS character... <laughs> What do you a mean? a little bit necessary for killing the oh, big... I think he's making another drink. 
He is I am. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, I mean, I've got serious. all the ingredients sitting in front of me. The PTSD from thinking about smite. Is it another, uh... It's another one of the bee's uh, knees. Bee's knees. Bee's knees, yes. Bees knees. Also, there's, uh, there's uh, always that Hercules yeah, player yeah. who has gotten used to freaking playing ranked joust and thinking he's hot stuff and then getting in a conquest game playing solo and then getting smacked by a King Arthur because he doesn't know how to actually hit his abilities. King Arthur Johnny sucks. Was, I hate him. Johnny was struggling for air on that one. <laughs> he had to get it out. There. Yeah, he was. He had, to he had to get it out. I have a very large lung capacity, but even no, I have my limit. All right. There are some gods that are just OP, like Anubis, where you know he throws out one ability and gets all of his health back, and you're just like, all right, well that's cool. I guess I'll back now and get this the hell out of here before you kill Anubis me. Anubis are, isn't Anubis OP in real life? Yes. Because yeah. He kills things. Well, <laughs> if, if you if that's what the if that I don't really believe in that, but if that's what you believe in, he, so, yeah. I mean, I'm if you still now, subscribe to the uh, Egyptian for the worst. <laughs> okay, but the I thing about Anubis is about. that Anubis, you just build you build anti heal, and he's not and don't get hit by the stun. That's literally what you you build anti heal and don't get hit by the stun, then you don't die. Oh my. Also, gosh. if you. Also, don't build beads into Anubis because it's pointless. If you build beads into Anubis, you're going to beads the stun. You're still going to have the three up under you. And then the ult's just going to still kill you because <laughs> you're still taking all the damage. So you may as well just get Aegis and take like the two seconds of invulnerability over the two seconds of CC immunity where you can still take damage. That's fair. Well, um, I want to talk about OP characters. We have 42 oh. followers. Um, yeah. We still need eight more. How many do we get? What? This... Uh huh? Star How many Wars this Boba screen? Fett inspired stoneware. Ooh. I'm um, are you okay, guys Star Wars fans? Stone, I haven't Star tried Wars Cthulhu fan. yet. Um, I've heard he he does seem pretty busted, but he also seems like he's a little bit buggy. I know that if Nemesis tries to ult him while he's in his ult, it just breaks the entire game. Like the game just breaks. <laughs> He, he's kind of buggy so far. So, have they released Cthulhu? I haven't even been really paying um, attention they haven't, to that. They haven't released Cthulhu yet. I so think that's in the public I, test realm? I think that, yeah, he's still in public testing. They're still kind of balancing him. Because, man, he's freaking crazy, dude. He, he's freaking nuts. And he's really big. Like, he is a thick boy. Like, I think he has the biggest model outside of Yorm. Silver and he's still said, almost uh, as tall Silver as Yorm. Says, no joke, I'd read the fin fact where Anubis meets Disney's Hercules it's, and tells him don't. about what the real Herc Her did. did. <laughs> well, I'll write it. Okay. <laughs> who do you think Tuner's main should be in Smite, Ian? Who should Tuner? Who does Tuner? Who is Tuner maining? None. Bacchus. Who is he maining? Bacchus. Actually, yeah. No, Tuner does seem like a Bacchus guy. Bacchus! <laughs> Banana, uh, crayon eater. Pretty much. I mean, you kind of just belly flop on people, and then you're a Burp. tank, but you, you have an ultimate that does like a third of somebody's health, even though you're a tank. <laughs> and oh my god. You, just, you get free I think you'd have fun with him. <laughs> you get like 10% damage mitigation just by existing. <laughs> That's wild. I think you'd um, actually like him too, if you like a supporty role. And we'll see. And then, if I we're gonna get, Smite. we're gonna get you to pick up Smite one of these days because we we've talked about it in every stream so far. You're gonna get indoctrinated one of these Look, days. Look, it's it's either Bacchus or AMC. He's gonna be an Amuzen Cobb. I literally have. Have uh, you ever tried a Bruzen Cobb? <laughs> have you ever, no. have you ever, it's where you build. Shish -kebabs. Um, I like those shish kebabs. <laughs> It's where you just, you take Amuzenkab, and you build him like a solo laner, and you're just tanky as balls, Jesus. but you still do oh damage, and we call it Abruzenkab, because it's a bruiser build for Amuzenkab. I, I really like uh, basic attack Sylvanas. That cracks me up. That is an old meme, and it is still a f freaking funny thing to do. I'm just going to chase you down and throw my stupid turds at you. <laughs> They're nerfing movement speed again across the board, which kind of pisses me off because it's mm. like, oh, yay, we're going to make ADC assassins even worse, even though they're already freaking garbage. Yeah. 
Also, I I really like uh, characters like um, uh, Vomina. And, I mean, uh, I feel like movement speed would nerf the sh crap out of him, too. I mean, yeah, he Taking already that doesn't away. see that much play. Yeah. Well, yeah, and that's the thing, is, like, you're taking away these gods that could be a lot of fun, and then you're just making them worse. Pretty much. <clears throat> but it's it's high res. We've come to expect this. Alrighty. Alright. Thank you guys, guys for having us again. Yeah, man. Well, I appreciate you guys coming on. Um, I was lost the last 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> no still fun. We still had on. a good podcast. We gave we did some giveaways. We're super close to getting our affiliate status. Um, I was lost the first 30 minutes because y'all were talking about all this like freaking deeply complicated like coding stuff, and I'm just deeply complicated it. tech. Um, <laughs> we'll talk about construction next time. There you go. Because then I'll be the only one talking. Ooh, can we build a house? Deep con. We can. We can talk about con contracting. Can. Okay, listen. Since I'm a real estate agent, Scooby, you can build a house and then I'll sell it for you. How about that? You got. You I'm team. not. I don't build houses. I build multifamily residential complexes. Apartments. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. Apartments. I didn't mean to. I did, I did not mean houses to. Houses are way I, easier. Condos, bro. <laughs> we build condos, like 300 I mean, of them. Well, we sell multifamily complexes. I don't well, think we've ever we sold one. I think we've managed a couple. I don't think we've ever sold one. Like I don't think our company's sold one. We yeah. have a well, we have a manager right now at our complex. Yeah. Um, well yeah, I appreciate everybody coming out. Uh, appreciate all the new follows from Seymour Silver, um, Game to Phyllis. Uh wanna give a big shout out for all the giveaway winners, uh, Fireman Drew. Um, Game to Phyllis and Davis uh, on the hats and the tumbler. And Scoon. Oh, too oh, soon. Oh, yeah, Scoon. Unfortunate. <laughs> um, we'll get you. We'll send you a care yeah. package. Uh, we will hook you up, bro. Um, uh, like I said, if you guys want stuff, especially the two hats, shoot me a DM on Discord if you have Who are we going to raid? Um, yo, we have to raid Chevy. Chevy's, Chevy's been on. helping us support our stream. Uh, he's going to help us with uh, the giveaway that we have coming up. If you guys are new to the stream, Very nice. we are planning a chair giveaway. So we're gonna do a giveaway for a gaming chair um, at 50 subscribers, uh, 50 followers, sorry, not subscribers, at 50 followers, we are going to give away a Google Home Mini. Um, we might actually so. give away a Pi too. Oh yeah, I got a Raspberry Pi now. We that got a Raspberry Pi, about, we're probably so. gonna set that up, give that away we'll as well. I'll have to wipe it. <laughs> I'll set it up. I'll set it up for you and then give it away. There we go. That way, that way it's set up. You don't have to worry about setting it up. Um, cool. Well, I appreciate everybody for stopping in. Um, we will be live on Mondays and Fridays, 9 p.m. Central Time. Um, feel free to share our stream with your friends. Get everybody in. Let's have some drinks. Y'all have a good one. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Drop, a, drop hashtag D. WTM drinks with the Martins in his chat if you guys can and drop and see the follow he's pretty cool so we are gonna go ahead and, and raid him um, let's see right now yeah let's go let's go say hi yeah. Yeah. let's do it let's go already yep wonder if his sounds loud I know <laughs>